in need of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Morning, good morning. I know, I know, 50 minutes late, but we got there. We had the gremlins in last night. Apparently somebody clicked on something they shouldn't have clicked on yesterday and it sent the whole room into spasm. But we're here now, we're here now, we're here now. So should we start with today's early bird? Here we go. Well done, Elliot. Well done, Elliot and team. And a tall boy came to help. Right, so this is a today's early bird. It's got nothing in the graphics. Oh, there we go. Cotton Rich Pop Art Panama Canvas Festive Stars Fabric. Now, it's like digital printed, isn't it? Because it's like a lovely little um, photographic print. Now, look at the width of it. I'll hold it up. You can tell we've got native lighting first, can't you? There you go. There's the fabric. It's that lovely soft pan. Everything's going to go wrong today, isn't it? I can't hear you, Hannah. 75% cotton, 25% polyester, and it's 4 99 And first time we've had this on air at Sewing Street. Wait till you see this price. 1 99 for half a metre. 1 99 for half a metre. What are you going to make with it? Are you going to make uh, Christmas morning sacks? Are you going to make decorations? Are you going to make ribbons? You, what are you going to make out of it? You tell me at 1 99 for half a metre. I know, I know, I know. It's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, lots of messages saying, where are you? We're here now, we're here now. June says, well done, everyone. I was getting withdrawal symptoms. I was getting ready to go home, June, me. Uh, Cousin Susan says, hello. Claire says, morning, John. All glad you made it. Clever Elliot. Mm, I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't go that I did send him a text yesterday evening going, there might be problems. He's like, yeah, no, I know about it. Poor old Emma came in. He's like, nothing's working. At 1.99, we're here now, though. We're here now. Make sure you go through. Susan sa Sue says, well done, Elliot. Alice and Marion's clapping. Anne Humphrey says, hello. Lots of you there. Keep going through. One ninety nine for half a metre. Don't worry, you're not going to miss... Oh, I don't know how it's going to work, actually. Oh, yes, I'll do all of that in a second for you. Right. Right, are you ready for this? Because, look, it's Christmas. We are doing the 12 days of Christmas. Here you go. So now every day for the next 12, 12 days, everybody who buys something will get a free gift. Right? Today's free gift is... No? Today's gift is... There you go. One... It's day one, you see. That's what the big one's for there, you think. Free fat quarter for every customer who shops on the 1st of December. It, you don't have to put in a code. It will automatically be added to your order. And it's designer. It's worth three, at least 375 That's the first thing. The second thing is, for the 12 days of Christmas, if you shop for six of the 12 days, that can be any six days. That, no, no, that's what I was just about to say. <laughs> yeah, I can see you see it's a bit worrying. You think, what are you doing? 
Okay, Hannah's, uh, the, 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 they could have fixed it while they were here, couldn't they? So Hannah's light in the gallery, and when I'm sat at this desk, I see everything she's doing. So I could see her giving a massage to Emma the other day, and today she's pulling a cheese string out of its box. Anyway, if you buy, look at the slide, if you buy six of the, what's that thing at the bottom of the six? Okay, because on my, I came through on my I, I, internet earlier and I couldn't figure out what it was. I thought, I thought it was on the screen. I was trying to scratch it off. Anyway, if you spend money on the, it, it can be on anything, right? On the first, any of the six days of the 12 days of Christmas, today being the first one, doesn't have to be in order. It can be any time as long as it is six days, right? You will get free P&P &P for the whole of January. But you do have to shop six of the 12 days. Six of the 12 days. So start today by buying this for 199 Half a metre of this, 199 That's your one day done already. You only more five more days. And then you get free P&P &P for the whole of January. Um, was it was it where you were buzzing yesterday? You fused everything. No, Fiona, nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with me. Will Polly Wally Doodah still be on at 10 a.m.? Yes. Yes, she will. What we'll do is, well, one of the hours we'll do tomorrow. One of the hours we'll do tomorrow. I think that's what'll end up happening. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Um, then uh, Pauline says, John, glad you're on now. Got my free fat quarter. Laurie says, good morning, John team. Glad got the gremlins fix. Thought I was going to miss my fix. No, I thought I was going to miss my John. Nothing to do with the fix there. Uh, Karen says, glad you got it sorted. Unfortunately, I've got to start work now. Oh, Jeanette says, morning. I'm totally confused, but I'm all right now. The crazy Lorraine says, must say that tree definitely looks better than last year's. I can't remember what last year's looked like. We had, a, no, last year we had professional set decorators in last year. This is Ian, the new boy, and Hayley B did this. No, the new boy. There's a new boy. Barry Bookbuyer wasn't in yesterday. He hasn't got that much creative thing in his little finger, has he? Barry the book, book buyer. Elliot, 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 look at me. Could you, could you fix that light above your head? It needs to go off. At 199, oh, Elliot puts it away. He's just taking his clothes off and dancing. It's like there's a big screen, like a big window, right? And he's in there dancing with nothing on. 199, well, I can't see if he's got any pants on because obviously it's not that low. Right, 150 of those have gone already. Well done, congratulations, I'm closing that one up. Right, let's have a look at today's menu. You've got to be very quick today. Now, this could change. This could change, but sometime in the first four hours, you will get native lighting with Claire now. She doesn't even got, it's like Madonna, she doesn't need a surname anymore, she's just Claire. We have got clearance at some point. 10 o'clock, Polly Dolly Doodah will be on as Cheryl. And then Big in Japan will be on at some point. And then Yarn Lane, Book Bonanza will be on at 12 o'clock. Three ways you can get in touch. The first way is by email. The second way is by uh, Facebook Live, which are the ones I've been shouting out, which I'll do some more in a second. Uh, then the third way is if you go to the website, www.sewingstreet.com, click on Watch the Show Live. There you go. Click on watch the show live. Uh, then there's a little box on the right hand side there. You can write in that box and send a message and they come up as white messages across the bottom of the screen. If you scroll down the page, you will see now at the moment there's only pre-order, right? There's only pre-order at the moment. In the minute, there will be two columns. There'll be pre-order and show deals. Anything that's been on the show so far is on show deals, which means you can buy anything from the next four, well no, next three hours actually. For the next three hours are all there. On the clearance ones, you won't be paying those prices. So if you are checking out on clearance, you won't be paying those prices because they will be crashed to the price. Right, uh, so everything is there. Keep going. So you've seen Native Lighting. We've got Polly Wally Doodah coming up in a minute. There you go, there you go. We've got an exclusive today as well. Look, the fairy one there. We'll explain all of that to you at 10 o'clock. Right, and then we go on to Japanese fabric. And then that's it. Okay, let's get on because we've got, well, no, are we running behind or are we running ahead? I think we're running ahead. Claire is here. Claire is here. Wait, Hi. Claire. Hi. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Right. Okay. So now I need to tell you, we have done everything on split pay again. So if you want it in time for Christmas, ideal time to get your Christmas present. Now, I think you're in once more between now and Christmas, aren't you? 
I am and twice actually. I'm on Yarn Lane and uh, Oh, and are Street. you? Oh, excuse yes. me. <laughs> excuse me. Okay, well, that's fine then. But I'd buy them today. I'd get them today if you want a present for Christmas. We've restocked on a lot of things. Um, but if you go, if you want to buy pre-order, buy it and then sit back and watch the show. Please, please, please do that. Some ones we are limited on and others we're not. But I'll tell you as we go along. Where are we starting, Hannah? Oh, yes. Now, I've got this. And I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Uh, it comes in black and it comes in white. They're already going on pre-order, right? Now watch, $49.99. That is your price, that is your price. But split pay. Look at the split pay. Look at that split pay. $16.66, three times over. So that's all you'll pay today, plus your P&P. Uh, I'll let Claire go through all the... Um, science sort of stuff but i've got this and dulcie's got this dulcie takes hers with her because when she's on location she likes to take her epp with her so she takes hers with her so she goes to a hotel room she clips onto the bed head we're not having that till christmas please tell me that's not gonna be on till christmas where's the where's the ones elliot with all the like the pretty things inside the box there Anyway, 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 Dulcie's got one, she takes the hotels. I've got one of these next to my computer. It's brilliant. But I'll let Claire, oh, I am plugged in, but I'll let Claire tell you all about it. It does come in, the black and the white. The graphics in at the moment are for the black one, and Claire's got the white one over there. So, Claire, oh, so, you're not plugged in? No, it's okay. I've got a battery pack, because I thought oh, okay, I'd fine, tell fine. everybody about battery packs today. Okay. So, this is a USB lamp. <coughs> so, yep. you obviously get the USB connection here. So, mm. you can either put it into a plug that you would use, like, to charge your mobile phone, or you can use a power pack. Yeah. So I put mine into my computer, because it's next to the computer. It's yep. just plugged into the side Or a, the a laptop or a computer or, as well. So what you've got on here is obviously you've got the clamp, as John John showed you before. So you've got quite a wide clamp there yep. that you can obviously then clamp that onto. And also, if you look on the inside of the clamp, there's like yep. some silicon little bits, aren't there? So it doesn't, little, I, mine's yep. on a nice table. It doesn't mark at all or anything. Yeah, so we put little cushion pads on to obviously stop it from, from um, damaging any kind mm. of furniture. So you've got the really long neck with this, so you can you can flex it sort of like wherever you want it's really good if you use a sewing machine because you can actually wrap it mm -hmm. around the sewing machine so to turn it on you you tap it at the end yeah. and if you want to dim it down then you keep your finger on the end mm -hmm. and then to dim it back up take your finger off and keep it back on and then dim it back up to the highest highest level what yeah. i love about mine as well is i have mine plugged into my, my computer yeah so when i switch my computer off yeah it turns the light off for yeah me, so exactly. I, to, I never forget that it's on sort of thing because obviously once your power stops for your computer yeah. it then stops it yeah but. And so they're all LED, mm -hmm. which means that they're, they're, they're low heat and also that means they're much more energy efficient as well. So they use a lot less electricity. But obviously, if you've got yours in your laptop, you're using the same electricity as you're using for the laptop. Yeah, exactly. So, exactly. Yeah. Also, you'd be amazed at how, look, there's mine, right? You'd be, let's, let me switch it off, switch it back on. When it's on bright, so I have mine, if, if you imagine I'm sitting at my computer like this, I have mine here. So that I've got it on the desk, on the keyboards and everything like that. But when I'm not, I put it like that, up, up that way, and it lights the whole of my room behind me. It's yeah. kind of, so when I'm doing my Facebook Live, sometimes when I don't need that much light on me, I literally just do this behind me, and it lights up the whole room behind me and everything. And it's really, really powerful. And if, as Claire just said, if you keep your finger on the end, actually, can we drop the lights down? There we go, lights coming down. Right, this is me, that, that, that's it there. This is me just keeping my finger on it. Look. Right, back on. How brilliant is that? And then to switch it off, you literally just tap the end like that. So you can bring the lights back up. Now, exactly the same amount of white of black have gone. Normally, we have a, we have a competition going. Sometimes yeah. the white ones are more popular. Sometimes the black ones are. We're equal measures on this. And as Claire said, if you've got a bit, if you need to stretch and... Let me put the light back on. Look, it, it's not one of those goosenecks that doesn't... Look, how many goosenecks can you do that with? You know what I yeah. mean? It's got such strength. But also, if you want it to be creative... Oh, mine's... Oh, I've come off the tail. There you go. Look. You could do all sorts of things, be creative with it if you want to, because this isn't. This can bend and go in all ways, can't yes, it? Yes, it can. 
And you don't have to worry about um, it becoming weak or, or sort of like dropping or yeah. drooping or anything like that. Um, because we have reinforced vertebrae in there, which is obviously then the silicon cover on them as well. And it's lovely. And also, it's not like a lot of goosenecks. You can actually feel the vertebrae. The, rich, yeah. the vertebrae mm. as you go down. This yeah. is smooth, isn't yeah. it? So yeah. not only it does it work brilliantly, it looks aesthetically yeah. pleasing as mm. well. So they're forty nine ninety nine. Uh, 16 66 if you buy it on three-way split way. Uh, now, remember, on, on the split pay, you pay no interest whatsoever, right? It's just the price divided three ways. Now, normally, normally split pay starts at, is it £99 our first split pay? It is, isn't it? £99. We've just done this on Native Lighting. Now, in the new year, that won't be happening. Oh, 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 single figures on the black lamp now. Do you see? Now, we didn't think we had these today. Because we sold out of both these last time you were we in. Did, we did, yeah. And we managed to get more from Claire. Also, the sooner you buy this one, because this is the one off Hannah's desk, <laughs> right? So at the moment, oh, they have, they have changed the lights as well. She can see nothing in the gallery. <laughs> this is what, now what, what she does is she has this, because she's got computer screens and everything. So she's got a big window here where she looks at me. She's got all her computer screens there. And then she's got her, um, what's this called? Keyboard. Keyboard. So she has hers at a really low... She has, oh, just switched off. She has hers low like that. So it doesn't light up the rest of the room. It's literally just like lighting up her um, keyboard so she can type while it's dark in there, which is when I say, oh, what's she typing there? Or she's typing there, so I can hear her doing that. So she has hers at a really low, and she also has it lower down like that, like that. So it's not bright in there. You, you can have it to wave. Now, when you switch this one on and off, does it go back to the brightest one? Let me just check. Yes, yes, it does. This one goes back to bright yeah. and then you can dim down as much as you want. I love it. I think it's brilliant. Um, have you got one of these? Yes, I have. Yes, I You've use got black one. or white? I've got a black one. I'll take it. <laughs> the black one, the black one, the black one is most popular at the moment. Okay, uh, in the black one, more people in baskets than we've got stock of the black one. How about the white one? We just check the graphics of the white one for you now because... Uh, Oh, single figures of the white one. Single figures of the white one. Four left once you've all checked out of the white one. So, what? where should we move on to? Yeah, the other one we've got back in stock, which is... The which one? Oh, the two, the two, the two new, new ones. Okay, yes, last time Claire ones. was in, I haven't got one of these. Last time Claire was in, we had both of these in, the magnifier and the lamp. They both completely sold out. We've got them back yeah. in and they'll go again today. I'm sure they'll go again. So do the magnifier first. Okay, that's right. right, okay. So this little magnifier is ideal if you've got like a cross stitch stand or if say maybe you use like a lap tray or you've got a little table next next to where you work. So the clamp here is again, is quite, quite a deep clamp. Some people actually clamp them onto their uh, headboards, um, bedside cabinets and things like that if they need a little bit of extra help with, with, with their reading. So the magnifier is 1.3 times and then you've got a light on there as well. So if I just maybe put my ring underneath there, I'm not sure if you can, you can, you can see that. So you can actually see the magnification there. So if I take it out there, and then put that in there so you can see obviously how much how much that's magnified there gorgeous so um when you turn it on you tap it to turn it on and if you want to dim it then you just keep your finger on it and then that dims right down as well and it's rechargeable so you don't need to have cables obviously plugged in all the time so uh -huh. once it's charged it lasts for four to five hours so obviously if you're traveling maybe in a car and you want to be able to sort of carry on doing some work as well not while you're driving obviously <laughs> no so that's that's that one that's called the clip-on magnifier uh now i need to before we move on you carry on holding that look at the price right 31.99 split pay you'll only pay 10.66 today 10 pounds 66 day and then two more after that and it's all paid for um it i mean this is such a brilliant opportunity with the split pay to get lamps that sometimes you think especially just before christmas you're thinking oh i don't really want to lay out any money you only have to lay out 1066 today plus your pnp then 1066 in january 1066 february done paid for paid for paid for paid for no interest charge whatsoever
Yep. So that's your magnifier. Yep, that, that's the magnifier. And so obviously I've got it clamped onto the desk there. So yep. you can obviously see it, see it clamped on. But, you know, you can clamp it onto like a book stand if you maybe want to read like a cookery book or books. There's so many different uses mm -hmm. for it, really. So that's the mag that's the magnifier. OK, brilliant. And, and then the other one, the other little one time. that sold out last time is is this one. So again, it's another little clip on lamp. Uh, this one stands as well as as clamping. So right. again, you've got quite a, quite a deep deep clamp <coughs> there. You've got a little switch on the side here to to switch it on, and then that's the charging point on there as well. Mm -hmm. And this one has got the three different colours as a lot of the native light lights have. So you've got warm light, cool light, and daylight on there. Yeah. And each one's also got oh, you can see it changing. Yeah, there, got yeah. three different brightness levels as well. So you for tap a, for a little lamp like that. Yeah. that's brilliant. Yeah. Isn't it? So you tap it to to which which colour you want, and then you keep your finger on the button to dim to dim it up, and then. Dim it, it up or dim, or dim it, down. it down. Yeah. And then just tap it again. And then once you've gone through all the colours, then it goes off. And then you just obviously turn it off at the at the side as well. Um, Ange says, just ordered my third native light. They're brilliant. Michelle says, I met Claire at Birmingham. She's so knowledgeable. And I have two of the task lights, one for working and one for sewing. Uh, Alison Marion says, how sad am I? I've just ordered two of the pop-up panels for Christmas 2022, <laughs> honestly. Uh, and uh, Marie, I don't know what I don't know what we're doing at the moment that because we've lost an hour. I'm not quite sure what will happen about what, what when we'll do what. But we're definitely doing Polly Wally do at 10 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. OK. So this one's rechargeable as well. So once this is charged up, then that will will last four to five hours as well. So right. again, ideal for going to classes if you're traveling and or if you just want a little lamp by the side of you when you're sort of working in your chair at home as well. So lots oh, of different. Also, options. look at the split pane. Look at the split pay. It's The lamp's only 24 99 Now, you don't have to take split pay if you don't want to. You can pay the 24 99 in one go if you want. But if you don't, if you want to spread those payments, no interest charge whatsoever, £8.33, three times. That's all you pay for that. Obviously, today you pay your PMP if you've not bought anything else. But you need to, remember, it's only one PMP whether you buy, um, if you've already bought something, like say you bought the early bed for one ninety nine, paid your PMP on that. That's it, paid for for the day. Then, no matter what else you buy, and if you buy from me or from Yarn Lane, it's all one PMP, just covered. Message on my bottom. I got this to try the range. It is fabulous. Have bought a bigger one for my dad's Christmas present. Oh, I hope he's not watching, Kate. <laughs> he won't be. Right, the black slim line clamp lamp has definitely sold out now with lots of people missing. And white, there's only one available. I told you, always sells out. Always, always, always sells out. And like I told you, I've got that next to my computer. And I'm not doing what a lot of shopping telly presenters do where they've got one of absolutely everything. I haven't. I haven't. But I have got three. Oh, no, I've got three of the lamps. Only two of them available. I had that clip on lamp and I've got the, 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 the Lumina floor lamp as well. And I've got the uppy down. We haven't got the uppy down yet. In fact... I, I've moved all the furniture around in my uh, office and I did my first Facebook Live from there the other day and all the lights were in different places and I used my uppy downy lamp at the back there and somebody was like, have you got candle? Because I put it on the wall. <laughs> yeah. And somebody thought I had the room lit with candles at the back. It was uh, such a lovely... F anyway, we haven't got that today, so I don't know what I'm saying <laughs> about. $24.99, this, this lamp. Not this, that, that lamp. This one. Okay, so next we're going to do the black floor lamp, which is the one I've got. Right. So I'll lift mine up so you can see, so I can take you through it a little bit. Ooh. Though it does come in white as well. It doesn't fit on the screen. I've, I've just brought it up there to show you. When it comes, it comes in one of the lovely flat boxes like that. The only assembly you have to do is you just have to screw this into this. And one pole. And what? Yeah, so there's two poles. So oh, are there poles. two poles? Yeah, there's two that, poles. Yeah, yeah oh, there's two sorry. poles and then you put the base on. Oh, yes. Yep. So this bit here screws to this bit here and then you slide this bit here into there. Yeah, that's it. Um, anyway, so, so there it is. It's the Lumina floor lamp. I'll let Claire do all the description for you. What I love about this is I have one next to my desk, but you can also have if you can do some sewing at next to your sofa or next to a table or next to a sideboard. This base, even though it's sturdy, right, it slides underneath piece of furniture. You can have it right close up to where you're working. It's not one of those lamps where you think, not the, not that it would matter, because again, the gooseneck on it is amazing. You can do all sorts of things. I have mine either like this up the wall to create ambiance, uh, uh, reflecting the light off the wall, 
or you can have it like this. But we'll go through all of the technical thing, um, technical things with Claire now because she knows better than I do, and she's got <laughs> batteries in her. In my remote. <laughs> 11699 they are both black and white. They're both available on um, split pay, 38.99. Now these come from, from you. you. Yeah. So now will you be going to the post office with them tomorrow morning? <laughs> yeah. So they'll go straight away. They'll go straight yeah. away basically. As soon, so. as soon as I get them from Sewing Street, then they're, not, they're dispatched within the two days. Yeah, brilliant. The boyfriend so. has to go to the post office. <laughs> yeah. Right, so talk me through how these work. Then. Okay, so this lamp is our most popular lamp. We just sell so many of these lamps. It's been such a phenomenal seller. Again, it's a very bendy neck, so it's brilliant for you to be able to position the light exactly where you need it. You've got the controls here on, on, the, on the panel here. So you've got your, your on button here. This light has got 25 different color settings. It's got warm light, daylight and cool light and a couple of other ones in between. Mm -hmm. And then each color has five different brightness settings. So that's where you get your 25 settings from. We'll show you close up of that in a second. The camera's just play. Is it your, is it your dress it doesn't like? Does it not? There you go, there you go. <laughs> okay. I think it's a lovely dress, there you go. So here you can see. Oh, oh no, it's going crazy. No, <laughs> I was gonna say you can, I'm just yeah. changing all the colors there. Yeah. So if you can see all the different colors going on the through, desk, yeah. you can see it changing on the desk. So you've got So your there's five light. different colors. Yeah. And and then you've got five different brightness levels on each one. Okay, keep it there. Now, if, Emma, if you drop the lights, right? So can you see? Right. So look, there, there the different brightnesses. So that's gone obviously to the brightest. Yeah. And then you've got your different colours. They're very. They're, they're and it's not like oh, there's a slight change. Yeah. They are majorly yeah. different, aren't they? And what you find is that some people may have some eye conditions that find some lights a little bit abrasive or a bit harsh mm -hmm. or maybe like you know the very strong daylight so they might want to come down to the level before and a couple of brightnesses down and what you'll find is with 25 different settings there'll always be a light that will suit suit your eyes and if i can just butt in this light when you switch it off when you switch it back on again it switches off back on to the light setting that you last had it on yes. doesn't it that's why i was asking if the other one did yeah. earlier so this one that I've got in my, in my office, right? I know that every time I switch it on, it will go on to the setting that I like best because that's what I have it on all the time. And I'm not there thinking, oh, it's a bit bright, that's a bit dark. It's literally ready to go. Yeah, thing. it's called a smart memory. So It's called a what? A smart memory. Well, I've not got one of those. <laughs> uh, right, now you can use it by pressing the, the, the control panel like Claire just showed you, but on this one, you also get a remote control. You do. If you buy the black clamp, you get a black one, and if you get the white one, you get a white one. Now we put batteries in, so we can just show you how, and I just need you to move that to your left a little bit because you're just underneath the there graphics there. there. Perfect, that's brilliant, thank yeah. you. Yeah, so you can see as I'm, is it working? Oh. Oh yes it is, yeah. It's cut, changing oh, the colours, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, as I'm putting them in. And then obviously it's, that's 100% oh, brightness. I've just come out of it, there you go. That's 50%, that's 20. Okay, so go through, through the top. What have you got at the top of there? Okay, so you've got your, your power button, yeah. and then you've got a 60 second and a 10 minute timer. Right. So if you like, say to yourself, right, only 10 more minutes before I finish, finish my crafting, yeah. set the timer for that. You've then got your brightness plus and minus and your colour plus and minus buttons. Mm -hmm. Then you've got a little a moon there, which is your night light. So if you click it on the middle one, yeah. it'll be like a night light for a child's bedroom or yes. something like that. So it, yeah. just, like, it just has a little bit of a glow sort mm -hmm. of around, around the outside. Yeah. Um, and then the other ones are 20%, 50% and 100% brightness. Yeah. And then it's, if you didn't want to go through all the colours, there's, there's one for warm, one for cool. And the one that says mix is the daylight one. Right. So then you can just really play with it until you find that you've got the one that, that works really well for, for you, for your uh -huh. eyes, really. Yeah. Uh, now, I just, I don't know how we're doing time-wise because our t t clock in the studio is having a trouble working. <laughs> according to my clock, it's still five to nine. It's very slow. <laughs> oh, okay, we're all right, we're all right, we're all right. We're all right, we're all right. Just, uh, if you just keep us in turn. Oh, <laughs> now the white floor lamp, there are only 11 left. Oh, there's only 14 in the black, so the black's not far behind. So it just depends, again, which colourway you want to go with. 
So this is the black one. Again, they're just, it is just brilliant. You can bend it and twist it as much as you want. If, you have, if you're going to have it in your lounge, as a, like a designer lamp, you could have it looking very kind of Scandinavian-y, yeah. designer-y, couldn't you? But it's also incredibly, incredibly serviceable as well. The other thing that's good is if you have got it in the lounge, if you're going to be doing some hand stitching on the sofa and hubby or whoever's over there watching the telly and everything, if you direct it to where you're going to work, yeah. it doesn't create that it doesn't light up the whole room does it no. you've just got your concentrated light down like this yeah it doesn't it doesn't affect anybody else you just get the light on the project that you're working yeah. on so but the other thing is if you have got two in the same room and you've both got a remote control you could switch hobbies off if he's got because you can use your remote control to switch his on just direct it to the light um i find it works brilliant i just have mine i go in and my, my like i said i've got the the Clip your lamp here, and then this one is over that side of the desk, right? So rather than me leaning over, I just have my remote control here next to me. So when I sit down, I literally just switch it on with the remote control, and it's there, done. It's brilliant, brilliant. LED? They're all LED, um, and <clears throat> also they are all guaranteed for two years as oh, well. Oh, okay, so that's a good point. So if anything should go wrong, not that it will, but it yeah. just, it, mechanics are what mechanics are. Sometimes yeah. they can go wrong. What do they do if they do want to ask a question or there is something wrong with it? They so they come back, to, come back to Sewing Street and then obviously Sewing Street will then contact okay. me. But what happens if somebody wants to ask you a... Right, I need to tell you, Claire doesn't sell. No, she, she does sell them. <laughs> she sells them to us, I think. But you can't buy them directly yes. from you. They're only yeah. sold by ambassadors and stockists of them. But if somebody wants to ask you a question, like say they've seen one yeah. here or somewhere like that and they think, oh, I don't know the answer to that. Is there somewhere they can Yeah, they can. They, they can do that either via Instagram or Facebook, or they can fill a form in on the website as okay, well. Okay, and, and what's, 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 what's name you under on all of those social medias? So, so on the website, it's just, just nativelighting.com, and um, social media is, is Native Lighting just UK. To, so if you just put Native Lighting, you can yeah, find you. Yeah, yeah, Native Lighting or you can UK. Or if you go to me, she'll be in my friends, because yes. I'm with, don't do a personal one. Don't go to a personal one, because you don't want to be looking at that, I believe you, me. <laughs> But if you get to, <laughs> go to the native lighting one, I always link you. Whenever They'll I'm all be looking for me now, yeah. John, won't they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't. I got Hannah thousands of followers on her Instagram. So I just have to say it was McBabe8. And she literally would sit there going, I've got 20 more followers or oh, got 60 more followers. McBabe8, that's Hannah. Exactly. You're welcome. Um, anyway, 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 you can always contact me and I can always contact Claire. I always tag her when I say coming up this week on the show. Yes, I always do. tag her so you know she's coming on and everything like that. So, um, that, so this is $116.99 or split pay $38.99. Um, they're very, very popular. And you say this is your most popular It is our lamp. most popular lamp, mm -hmm. yeah. It's been very popular. Go. There you go. Which is, just surprises think, me because I thought yeah. that one would have been. But we'll come to that in a minute. Where would you like to go next, Hannah? <laughs> okay, so you, this is how I have to work out. Use the Instagrammy one. They're all on Instagram. She means the one for <laughs> filming Instagram. <laughs> yes. Right now, I know that Derek has got one of these, and I know that Jane Greenoff has got one of these, and I know that Kerry from Living in Loveliness has got one of these. Uh, you're right over there. Yeah, just moving it into position yeah. a bit. <laughs> so now right. it's ninety five pounds and ninety nine pence, or split pay thirty one ninety nine. Uh, three split plays of 31 night night. It's called the Native Lighting Eclipse Ring Light. Uh, now, I've seen these on all sorts of, what, what are they called, like influencers pages and things like yeah, that? Yeah, quite often they're called blogging lights and things like that, mm -hmm. really. But yeah, what, what a lot of, basically a lot of people like the light to make them themselves look brighter and more natural. But there's a lot of other uses for them as well, really. So if you do like, um, Facebook Live and Instagram Live. You don't want to do it twice. You can put two phones in and, and run them at the same time because you get these little holders that, that put your mobile phone hang in. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So if, you run, if I'm doing my Facebook Live yeah. and I'm chatting about something and I've also got something somewhere else in the room that I want, how do you, how so if you've got, so if you want to do Facebook Live and be on Instagram at the same time, you can do the two. But you need two phones. Yes, yeah, yeah got it. But you can do them. So instead of having to do it twice, 
then you can you can do them at the same time. Oh wow! So that, that, that yeah, works yeah. out what works out really well. So what a lot of people also use these for is if they're teaching or doing tutorials online, mm -hmm. because where you've got the mobile phone in the holders, so you get three of these little holders, right. and then they all attach all attach in here. But then what you can do is you can bring the light down. So if you were doing some recording, not only does it light up the area that you're working in, then obviously you can set your phone to record, mm -hmm. and then obviously you can you can show anybody what you're doing and teaching at the time. So it also goes up and down, so you can adjust the height. Well, yeah, because I noticed that Jane Greenoff was sitting down yes. doing her last one, wasn't yeah. she? Yeah. So you can adjust, adjust it up and down as well. And it also comes with a little remote control, which you download an app to your phone right. and then the little remote control will operate your phone so you don't need to keep sort of touching your phone when you want to start your videoing or take any photos or anything like that so the instructions all come with it and it also comes in a nice little case yeah because you well. might not want this lamp out all the time no so then you? you can pack it away in yeah. the case obviously afterwards when you when you're not using do you it. only have one color of light then no so we've got all the different colors of light on there as well so you've got the button that says mode and then if you just touch the mode, you can oh, see yeah. oh, again. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's very different. It's got five different colours. So, again, if you're using it for taking pictures of yourself or, you know, promoting promoting things, change the colours and see which one's Which one's the most one. flattering? Which one will get rid of daylight. my wrinkles? Daylight. Daylight right. is, 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 is the one that most people use. And then there's a brightness for each one as well because it is very bright. So you can dim it up and then you can obviously dim it, dim it down as well. And then the one at the other end is just an on-off button, is it? That's just the on-off button there, yeah. How brilliant is that? And also, you, if you're not, you don't have to use it to film, to be filming and everything, because you mm. have one in your, like, because at the moment it's like almost dark by Hopper's two, yeah. three o'clock, isn't it? Miserable. It's that kind of, on a Sunday afternoon at three o'clock, yeah. sometimes it's a little bit like, oh, you put what yours in the corner. I of do. Room, I have you? it in the corner of my room, and then that makes it just feel like it's it's like a it's like a day in the summer. The room yes, just feels yeah. much. Now it's much not a, nice. it's not a sad lamp. We have to put it's, sad sad it's yeah. not a sad lamp, as in one of those that that you need to. I can't. I, I don't know. Something. What is it? Uh, seasonal, seasonal affective, affective disorder. disorder. I think it's not going to think yeah. that. No. But just having a lovely lamp, making it look well. It's like me in the morning, and when I now wake up to my, I've got an alarm clock that brings the sunrise up. Yeah, and it's lovely because it just stops, starts off really, really soft, and then gets just brighter and brighter and brighter. It gently brings you around. It just feels nice to have a light in the corner of the room. Then it starts tweeting like the birds, and I have to throw a brick at it or something <laughs> like that. But you're right. Sometimes you just yeah. want that bit of light in your room. Yeah. You don't want the starkness of like a, 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 a big light. A big yeah. light. The big, the big light, light at the top. So it could just create an ambiance being in the corner of the room. Doing on a different yeah. temperature and a yeah different. and it's it's also very good for photography so if people want to obviously oh, yes. take pictures of products that they've made for their websites or to sell or things mm. like that so and it's not just more. sewers because if you think about the youngsters are doing their makeup yeah they do they'll all do a makeup thingy that like glow up but yeah. at home and things like that yeah all of those things fantastic it's so it's 95.99 Brilliant present. Derek, like I say, Derek's got one, Jane's got one, uh, Kerry Living Loveless has got one. I, I've seen someone else with, uh, um, well, you've got one, yeah. but uh, I've seen someone else with it on their um, on their Instagram just recently, just the last few days. Anyway, £95.99, three split payments of £31.99. Now, does this come from you or from us? That comes from me. So it's direct, and you've got the ready to go. Yeah. I have to also say, we cannot sell something that we haven't got in stock. So it's not like I can say, oh, yeah, we'll sell... You, we have to have actually bought it from Claire and it's sitting on the shelf waiting there. We don't do that. Well, you'll get it and it might arrive sometime in the future. So you know that it's on a shelf ready to be sent from Claire's warehouse to you right now. Uh, right, that's it. Where shall I move on to next, Sam? Where are we going next? Oh, it's right. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Right, let's do these and let me move, just move this one across here. I love this lamp. I think it's gorgeous. Right. I'll, again, I'll let Claire do all the um, technical stuff, but I'll just go through the, the when it first arrives, right? So first of all, this one has a plug on it, like a proper plug with a, I don't know what you call that, like a round socket thing that goes in there. Right. So then look at the clamp on this one, right? So it's a lovely big clamp, but not heavy. It's not going to, but look at the depth. Look how deep that is, first of all, that you can put it onto your table. Again, you've got your silicon in, I'm saying it's silicon, but it's some soft cushioning in there, yeah. isn't it? Just to stop it rubbing, just to stop it rubbing on your table, right? 
But what you can also do is if you're not moving your things around and you know you're always going to have it above your desk, it comes with this bracket. Now, it doesn't come with screws, but you can screw it to the wall. So imagine if this was your workroom and you hadn't got room for it on the table, you can screw it to the wall there. And then this, obviously Claire will show you how this moves around everything. You could move that to where you wanted it and everything. So that's the first thing. The only thing you have to do to construct this is, uh, there's, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little screw here, right? That, come, that screw yeah. comes with your kit. You literally just have to screw that bit to that bit. That's the only bit of um, assembly that you yeah. have to do on that one, yeah. isn't it? And it's gorgeous. Now, you can see there, that's your control, control panel. Claire's going to take you through that on hers because they're both exactly the same. This lamp has some of the most incredible features on it. You're not going to believe it. It's got one, which Claire will describe me, the automatic feature is, I can't believe it can actually do it. But what I love is the aesthetics of it because it's this lovely, lovely sleek line going across there. The gooseneck here is so smooth, right? They can bend it all way, all which way, all which way, but it's a really lovely, smooth, and you you know you're gonna trust it. It's got, you can feel it. It's got, I don't wanna say tension, but it's got something in it. It's not, you're not gonna bend it over and it's gonna go oof, like that. It's gonna stay where, like my life, you know? <laughs> it's gonna stay where you want it to stay, sort of thing. Now, the black one is black all the way up, 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 and it's got the black lamp and the black facing on there. The white one, the silver one, has silver up to here, then it has a white right. gooseneck, then it has silver and white on here. Okay, we'll show you in a second. When we go to Claire, you'll see it in a minute. I think this is just glorious, this lamp. The first time we showed this, it was so popular. It's 119.99. Your split pays on that will be about, well, I'll tell you exactly what it is in a second. It's taking a long time. There you go, 39.99. 39.99 today and then one in a month and one in a month and you're done for there's the white one there's the white and silver one now claire this is just this light is brilliant isn't it it is a nice light it is a nice and it's particularly if you've got um a, a wide area that you that you need to be able to light so yeah. and as john was saying you know it's really flexible so you can you can have it up if you wanted to sort of like light light up i don't know like a dressmaker's dummy or if you're an easel or something like that, you, you can bring it sideways, that way it can come down as well. So what you've got here is you've got your, obviously your, your on and off button here. Hang on, we'll just come in on that. There you go, where was the yeah. on and off button? Sorry. The on and off button's in the middle. Right. There. Middle. And then you've got the temperatures again. So you've got five colors again. So warm light, daylight, and cool light. We'll show you those in a minute when we drop the lights. We'll do all the buttons first, yeah. then we'll go through all of that. Then you've got brightness. So yeah. you've got five brightness on each one oh, as well. Actually, you can well. see it on the stand behind you. Yeah. Look, yeah. Then you've got a timer, which is a 50 minute timer. So, you know, it's not quite an hour. So maybe thinking, oh, okay, I'll do another 50 minutes before, before I need to stop. Yeah. And then the auto button that gets John very excited. Oh, I think this is brilliant. <laughs> is um, what the auto button does is it adjusts the light to the environment that you're in. So as the day starts to get darker or if it, even if it gets brighter, it automatically realizes with this little sensor on the top here that, that the light in the room is changing. So it will either bring it up or bring it down to what it thinks is the right light that you should have. So when you when you so you set it to what you want to, and you're busy sewing away yeah. everything. And like we all done it, you start at lunchtime, gets to half past two, three o'clock now, and the light's gone. It will realize that the light in the room is dimming and it will take the light up to the level that it thinks you need to sew what you're sewing. But again, it'll do the opposite. If it's suddenly a really, because you know in the winter, the sun's quite low. Sometimes the sun can come across the window like that and it, your, your room can get incredibly, incredibly bright. It can go, oh, it's too bright. It's too bright in here. And it will actually t dim it down a little bit to the level that it thinks you need. It's just, I think it's just, I mean, I know technology is a brilliant thing, but yeah. there's nothing, protruding on it it's just a it's just a little light sensor in the top of the lamp yeah that just literally can do that and i just think that for for 119.99 you're getting all of that you're getting all the lights you're getting all the uh, different temperatures and all the different brightnesses and you're getting the timer and you're getting the auto sensor and you're getting something that looks so it, I, i'm not allowed to use this word but i'm going to it really is a sexy lamp this yeah. one isn't it yeah. like, oh, 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 oh. Well, we're not allowed to use that word really, but it's a, it's a sexy lamp, this one. 
Um, oh, said it again. Said it again. Um, there was, uh, how wide is it from here to here? It's 80 centimetres. How many? 80. 80 centimetres from side to side. I, right, OK, so if you just to test your light brightnesses, yeah. we'll switch the lights down. If you move it over just the other way, just slide it over th like that, perfect. Yeah, so we can just, so if we do the can temperatures. Can you reach? You're all right. Yeah. Right, so well, hang on, we need to drop the lights. Right, okay, so. So. Oh, no, can you see? Blimey, hold on. Hang on, she's got to find, let, let, let you see if I'm the button. Yeah. Hang on. Hang on. Right, are you ready? Drop the lights. Can you press the button? Yeah. She says, yeah. There you go, there you go, there you go. So look at the different temperatures, first of all. They're so different, aren't they? Look how it goes from your bright, bright white to your beautiful, warm glow. And look at it on the wall behind there. There we go. Right, and, and then, then and the then brightnesses. The, the brightnesses. Oh. <laughs> goes off. Yeah. Right, all the way down. And then and bright, goes, bright, yeah. bright, 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 bright again. And then if we put the auto on, you Oh, yeah, see. put the auto on, see what happens. Well, will the auto, will it change while... As you, then as you bring the lights up, bring the up, lights up, it'll it change. will, it will, well, you might not see this. Oh yeah, look, you can yeah. see it, you can see it doing it. And it flashes when it's changing. How mm -hmm. brilliant is that? Lovely message on the bottom, <laughs> apparently. Coming in. Uh, morning, Claire and John. The wide lamp is amazing. I have a narrow room that doesn't get much light, but now I can sew for hours from Jennifer in East Sussex. Oh, that's lovely. You that's what you see. A lot of lot of us have north facing rooms. My office is a north facing room. It gets very little light and everything. So all of the all, all the native lights are brilliant. But this is fantastic, and I just think it's a really, really, really. Uh, Gorgeous, gorgeous lamp, this one. So $119.99 is your price. Split pay $39.99. Now, you do do another task lamp, don't you? Yes, we do. It's not quite as wide as that one. Yeah. And, and the actual depth of the, the head is, is, is deeper than do that actually, one. Shall I, shall I show you? I've got one here, haven't I? We'll just yeah. show it very quickly. We weren't planning on doing this, but let me just get it. This one's more of a more, as you, as you, that you'd expect of a technical lamp because it doesn't have the gooseneck and things no. does it this one's this more, got more like the articulated yes. arm oh there you go you got a picture of it there right and it only has daylight setting on it doesn't have all the different colors okay on just daylight well. setting on it but it has the, the, the switches on the top there no which lamp which one are you going to oh where are you going there there you go so you have your on and off, and you you, you still have your brightnesses. Yeah, you have your brightnesses. Um, but just the one but it's just, colour. just the daylight. That's extremely bright, that lamp. Yes. And also, this is brilliant. I haven't got it here, but this one comes with a clamp, right? If you clamp that up, you can really, really Reach, stretch yeah. it out like that. And it will hold at really low. If you need it to go low like that, it will really, really hold at low levels. Because this is a really industrial sort of... Um, what do you call this? Uh, uh, Fulcrum-y... Yeah, it's, like it. it's like an angle poise style yeah, like arm, an angle really. Poise yeah. But again, it's beautiful. It's very sleek and it's all hidden. There's nothing... There's, you know, it's all very, very beautifully made and everything. Now, have we only got that in white at the moment? We've got black, I think. No, we've only got it in white. We've only oh, got it in white at the you? moment. Yeah, apparently so. We've only got that one in white. 89 Just And that one also just has a normal plug. <laughs> Is that your code? <laughs> it just has that writing. It just has, um, no, it doesn't have writing. It just has a normal plug on it. Right, where do you want to go next then, Han? Foldy uppy lamps now, Foldy Claire. Foldy uppy lamps, right, okay. Oh, oh. Oh, right, well, you were right. Mm -hmm. We have got the black task lamp, right? One. That's why it's not on our sheet. There's one in the warehouse. Okay. They hadn't put it on our sheet there. There it okay. is. There it is in black. But there's only one. There's only one. There's now, the fulcrum looks a bit different on the black than it did on the white. The, the what, sorry? The, the little circle at where it bends over looks a little no, bit different. No, that's the same. The difference is that the arm isn't covered like that. Um, one. That's, what di that's, what, that's, that's the difference. But there's it's only one of those. <laughs> there's only one of those. 89. Oh, look at the split. Is that right? Oh, it is. It doesn't seem right, does it? Three twenty nine ninety nines. So there's one of those. That's it. So if you want it, come and get it. It's waiting for you. Right now, let's go to the okay. Foldy uppy lamp. 
So this one is an ideal one if you want to take it to classes or if you travel because it folds down lovely and flat like this. So if you're particularly if you're going abroad, you can pop it into in, into your little hand luggage as well. So then how you this one works is you fold it fold it up like this. Then you've got the on and off button. Are you plugged in? I was just checking. <laughs> Oh, no. have you got your thingy switched on? I've got the black, but I didn't have a... Yeah, I you couldn't find oh, a plug for that Hey, one, go, 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 I'll do mine. Oh, you got yours. <laughs> okay, so this is 45 99 Again, right, it's switched on now. I'll just show you there. It's a really lovely opaque in there. Now, on this one, you have... What's that? That's a... Is that brightness, different are you, brightness? Are you there? on the yeah. sun or the little square? The I'm circle. doing the little sun. The sun's the brightness. So That's the three brightness, brightness one. levels. And then I've got a little, little you know, on the computer when the yeah. computer's not working, you've got circles going round and round. Oh, yeah. They, oh, yeah. You can see. Right. Can we do the lights down again, Emma? Right. Okay. You ready? So this is your different. They, oh, the thing is that it's always amazed me, and I do one of these shows once a month a day, but look, there's, it's not just a, a little yeah. change in the colours. It's really, really different, isn't it? So there are your colours, and then that's your brightness one there. So are there three of each on this there one? There is, then? yeah. Uh, let's back up. But then you can see, you can, you can have it on an angle, you can have this on an angle, and then when you finish with it, switch it off, fold it up, and it'll fold like really, really flat. So like you say, idea yeah. if you're going to your caravan or your hotel or somewhere like that and you've just not got much room in your suitcase, whatever. Or, or if you've got a caravan for, for stowing it away. Because yeah. when you take it from different places, you need to be able to stow everything away, don't you? Uh, 45.99 comes in both black and it comes in white. That's the black one, obviously. And then in the box there, there's the white one. Split pay of £15.33 if you want to take up the split pay option. No interest charge whatsoever. At forty five ninety nine. They're brilliant, aren't they? Gorgeous. And they're mains operated, those ones. Oh yeah, so that oh now. Which is the one that had the funny plug on it? The funny plug well, yeah. where, where you could take it off yes. to be European. That's the wide task okay. lamp. So I need to point out the task lamp, right? Has a plug that you plug in, but where the you know where the three prongs are, you can twist it and take it off. And underneath, or on the other side, there's a European plug, yeah. isn't there? Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's fantastic. Sorry, I, I, may, I forgot to say that earlier, but that's the task lamp. That's this one. So the, the actual plug section... Have I got one here? Hang on. Yeah, here, look. I've actually plugged it into that one. But. So look, if you look at this, you think, oh, yes, John, that's just a plug. Just plug that into your mains, which you would do it in, at home. Then you twist it. Oh, now, how do I do this? <laughs> <laughs> I should have practiced this, shouldn't I? Hang on. Lock and open. It twists round. I'm not going to do it now. Back. Yeah. I hate it, it when normally I it'll twist. I'm and, then, and, then, and then obviously it comes off and then you get the... Oh, no. Thing. You have to press a button. Oh. That's what it is. Look, there's a little button there. There's a little button there. You press the little button and then you see that'll be... Do they pop out? Or do you get another one of those? I think it's another one of those. You get another one of yeah. these to then the screw box. on. Little button there releases it. Pop it on there, and then, oh, I see, there you go. Then you've locked it into place. Press the button to unlock it, comes off. You've got another one of those with a European bit on, which you just then plug on. Got there in the end. Got there in the end. <laughs> right. I felt like Linda LaHughes then. Got a message on the bottom. Hi, Claire. Are there any reverse lamps available? Love my luminous lamp for crocheting and knitting from Laurie in Suffolk. There is some on the way. It just depends if they're going to be here in time for the next show. Um, there is a show on New Year's Eve, so they'll definitely be here by then. But we're just hoping they might be here for the next show on the 10th and the 13th for, for Christmas presents. But with uh, delays at the ports and customs and everything at the moment, we just can't guarantee it. But no. fingers crossed, they but, might be. But if, <laughs> if you do see it on the website, appear on the website, or you do watch that show and, it's, and you're at the, there for it, Get it straight away because every time we get it, it they sells sell out. out. Yeah. That's the lamp that I've got one. Vix has got one. Um, who else has got someone else got one? Um, 
I know lots of people have got them because they're brilliant. But we haven't got them today, so I can't. I won't go on about it today. Right. Have we done everything? Oh, no, magnifier. Oh, magnifier. Magnifier. Magnifiers. Magnifiers. Yet, now, what are these called, then? So this is the um, Mini Chameleon USB now, magnifier. Now, even though it's called Mini, yeah. don't worry, it's not small. It's not small at all. It's smaller than, than some of the other. So we have a big 7-inch yes, one. Yes, yes, yeah. And then we have a small desk one. And then this is like our middle, yeah. middle size one, this one. So this one is, is USB operated as well. And, but it comes with a plug as well, this one. So you've got a 1.75 times glass magnifier on right. here. And you've got the wing nut on here, which you can loosen. And then you can, you can twist and turn and position the, the magnifier wherever wherever you wish. Mm -hmm. And then you've got your controls on the cable here. So you've got your on and off button mm -hmm. there. And then you again have got your different lights, warm light, cool light, and daylight. And then you've got a plus and a minus button for the brightnesses. OK, there. so that, that's a thing that uh, um, I don't know if you can see it on Claire's there. The, the, the actual wire is all attached to this one. There's no unclipping. comes with a plug. And then the, the, um, it goes on there. Do, do you want to see? Can you see this or do you see it over there? Hang on, we're just coming over. There we go. Look, there's your, so this, this is where your plug is, right? And then that's your little control panel there. And it's got your on off, then you've got your, your upwards and downwards, you've got the light, the one in the middle there. £95.99. Now, oh, there you go, 31 99 Comes in both black and white. Ignore the other screen, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> £95.99. Uh, now, um, I've got a question here. I hope you can answer it. Can I ask which lamp is the highest luminen, luminens? H highest lumens. Uh, lumens it, is our Yeah, bit. it will be the one that John just had out a minute ago, the task lamp. But it's actually, the black one is actually the highest. That's 2,200 lumens. Right. Um, What's a lumen then? So that's how light's measured. So right. light's measured in lux and lumens. Right. So lumens is um, sort of like the light that's on the surface and lux is like the light that is around the area. Oh, okay. So I that, didn't, I didn't yeah, that, yeah, so that, that's how, how they measure it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the black task lamp is, is, is the highest, right. then the next one would be the white task yeah, lamp. Yeah, that's the one I showed, not, yeah. not this one. Not yeah, this one and, and then these ones would then oh, come okay. up to that. Okay, good question, because I didn't even know what a lumens was, Sue, so, mm -hmm. but that's good. Um, Suzanne says, I've been thinking about the floor lamp for a while now, decided to buy myself a Christmas present. Good for you, girl, good for <laughs> you. Um, uh, Jennifer says, bought this morning with the magnifier, the light is great. Light is absolutely great. That's fantastic. Thank you. Right. OK, so uh, where would you like to go now then? What time? I don't know what time it is because our clock still says five past it's quarter nine. quarter to ten. Oh, OK, then we're fine. Shall we just show the magnification on oh, this? Oh, yes, please. Yeah, because yes, this, yes, yes. this one's a little bit higher because it's one. It's 1.75. Oh, yeah, because the other one was 1.3, wasn't it? Yeah, so this one's a little bit higher. So if we maybe yeah. do it with like my, my ring again, so you can see there. And then when you come Oof. under there, obviously you can see or like my bracelet and then come out there so you can see how much how much that's magnified there Brilliant. as well and with the light with the light as well if particularly if you're working with colors the daylight setting is ideal because if you're working with say blacks and navies and you're not working in a very very good light or if you haven't got the daylight setting on then when you come to look at your colors afterwards you may well have sort of like used some and they're not matching and then you'd be disappointed with you with your work and you'd need to unpick it because you've obviously used the wrong colors. Now sometimes we, we have a piece of fabric and show you the different difference between the different colors but you on your Insta is it your Instagram mm. you've got films of different piece of fabric with yeah. different lightings on things like that. So you want to have a further investigation. Yeah. If you go to your Instagram, you can see that Claire's done little films in her dining room and at her table and things like that of, of how the dip using a different light makes fabric look completely different. Yeah. And things like exactly. that, haven't you? Color. I mean, even to the really extent, you know, so like you're working with a lilac, in daylight it looks lilac, but if you're using like a, a, a yellow light, it looks grey. Yes. So, you know, huge differences. Well, but we found that with some of our pictures on, I mean, I shouldn't be saying this, but some of the pictures on our website, I have to say to you, don't I? Oh, it's not grey, it's lilac. It's because someone's yeah. taken the picture with the wrong kind with of lamp. Wrong coloured light, yeah. yeah. Right, what do we need to recap before Claire goes home? The floor lamps. The floor lamps. 
There are only six of the black one left. We're just going to check baskets now. I'd already put it away because I thought they'd already gone. No, no, that's <laughs> right. Here you go. This is the one I've got. I've definitely got this one. Lots in baskets. Just check in there. 116.99 or 38.99 on three split pay. Okay, please be careful. Loads of you got that in your basket. Really, really lovely lamp. And I'll just hold it up there. You do get a lovely... I can watch Elliot's lamps. Like you can do, do it like that if you want to, like a flamingo. Good morning. These lamps are amazing. I've got a floor lamp and a desk lamp, says Susan in West Sussex. Wow. Sorry about that. Uh, lovely base to it. And what Susan made to tell you, it's got a really lovely base. It's not going to wobble anywhere, but it's not too heavy to move. That's no. what I like about it. Sometimes yeah. you put a base on, you think, well, that's it. That's it there for good now. This you can move around, but it's st strong enough to stop it, stop it wobbling or anything like that. It is fantastic. So it comes in black and it comes in white. How are we doing with the white ones? There are nine, I'm going to tell you this, I don't, can't tell you the time, quarter to ten ish, I think it is. There are nine white ones left. Nine white ones left. That's not the one, you've got the white one over there. I've got the you? white one here. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Just bring that one in there. So again, we were just talking about how flexible it is. And if you're sort of working in the lounge and you just want the light on you, then it's ideal where you can <coughs> just um, just have it underneath, underneath you. And you yeah. can see that it's not affecting anywhere else the light is just where where you need it where perfect. you're working perfect which is ideal and that's obviously on the on the brightest one there yeah uh quick message from glennis uh morning john i really struggle with detailed shading when cross stitching but the different light shades really help me from glennis in east riding it's yeah. true isn't it? Uh, it we have actually made quite a concerted effort to make majority of our lamps have the color changing in because we felt there wasn't that many on the market before and rather than, uh, although daylight is very important it's it, it is good to have the other colors as well the other thing i'm going to say which might be a little bit controversial is if you go to any of the big sewing shows and everything and you look at lamps for craft wick, or not any work lamps, but especially crafting ones, they're ugly, aren't they? On the whole, they're ugly. Yeah. Whereas you've made a, cons not a concerted effort, it's your ethos, that they look beautiful yeah. as well as do their job properly, isn't it? Yeah, we wanted to be able to try and design lamps that were ergonomic and also looked nice in the home place and didn't you didn't feel like you only had to have it out when you were crafting. Yes, so yeah. if you can use it as as a lamp you know to relax in as well which that's when obviously the the cool the the warmer lights come mm. in come in handy for that as well exactly right okay the white white the white the white you've got there in the white i'm just going to check to see how we're doing on that one very very popular today five left five left of those the white one over there that's i've got it in black here but the white one over there is only five left now so now we, uh, when we very, very first showed those, we had a lady message and she bought the white one for herself for her workroom and she bought the black one for her husband's office. So it's not just a sewing lamp. I mean, yeah. that is a really, really fantastic lamp, isn't it? Mm. And on, a, a, on anyone's, c c the thing is as well, the thing that's brilliant about these, especially the black one, if you're, you or your husband have one of those lovely old fashioned desks, you know the ones with like the kind of green leather, they're not going to look out of place no. attached to anything like that, are yeah, they? It's no, not like, that. I mean, they're uber modern and they're uber stylish, but they're not going to look out of place yeah. on a desk like that. Yeah. And you can be able to do your work as well, sort of thing, aren't you? 119 the graphics for the white one are in at the moment. Are we going to put the black one in there? Oh, we're going to do it in separately, do it separately. So the black one here. Now, what I love about this one is, do what, sorry? Oh, so we can check baskets, yeah. Um, I love the, the panel of, um, of controls on this one because they're very, very clear. There you go. They're very clear on the black one. And that one there is your... Um, look at the split pay on it. It doesn't seem right, does it? 39 99 three times. That's your light sensor there for when it does the automatic lighting. It's just fantastic. And when it is doing that, when you press that button, it flickers, the little light, the little light flickers, yeah, doesn't it, to when say it's that it's doing it. Yeah, to let you know it's adjusting. 119.99. How are we in baskets in the black one? Oh, 12, 12 of the black one left. Now, normally the black one's the one that goes first, but today the white yeah, one's Yeah, we one. seem to have shifted a little each, bit, actually. Each, each yeah. month it's different, yeah. isn't it? Right, are we done? Bye, Claire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> if you've got anything in your basket, please, please, please check out. It's just a fan. They are fantastic, fantastic lights. Wait, you're on the tent, did you say? That? Yes, back on the tent. Not me. I'm not. I don't, we'll find out who's in on the tent with you. I don't me on the tent. Um, so just check out on everything. They're all. You will love them as well. You will absolutely love them. And self gifting is the way to go. Buy yourself one for Christmas. That's what I do. Uh, right now, so after the break, we're going straight to Polly Wally Doodah. Cheryl's here to do Polly Wally Doodah. I'll find out in the break what we're doing for the rest of the show because people are asking about the clearance hour. I'll find out after the break and then when we come back, I'll explain all that. But we are going to be doing Polly Wally Doodah. Oh, I'm just pointing, not getting a picture. After the break. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hello, my name is Mark Francis and I'm a guest designer right here on Sewing Street. Uh, you may have seen me before. I don't know whether anybody has maybe tuned into the Great British Sewing Bee, but I was there for Series 6 reaching the quarterfinals. I'm now here on Sewing Street on your screens bringing you my very favourite sewing patterns for men, women and children. Uh, for dressmaking and tailoring. Uh, so you can fill your stash and your collection with my very favourite fabrics and sewing patterns, including my very own range uh, right here, exclusive to Sewing Street. Something you may not know about me, now let's have a think. A lot of this has been covered on the sewing bee, but uh, I am a Blue Peter badge winner. I know, I know. I haven't worn it in a while. Slightly too old to get into Warwick Castle these days wearing it, but you never, I don't know, do I pass for 16? I don't know, possibly not anymore. Um, and I'm also, hence the piano, uh, a pianist I've been playing since the age of seven, when my school teacher at the time taught me a little under duress from my mother because he thought I would be terrible. Turned out I wasn't, but there we go. Such is life, you never know until you give it a go. <gasps> Have I just invented a new catchphrase? I don't know. You never know until you give it a go. Caption across the screen, please. Thank you very much. So do join me popping up on your screens on here on Sewing Street to bring you my very favourite sewing patterns uh, and fabrics from across the range, including my very own uh, range of sewing patterns from So Mark Francis, um, including this very Turlo shirt. Um, more to come on a regular basis, so do keep tuned for that. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans 
and Yarn Lane TV fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Oh, my word, it's one of those days today, I can't tell you. Right, before I start, before I start this, before I start this, before I start this, after this hour, we will be doing half an hour of clearance and half an hour of Japanese fabrics, because we lost the hour at the beginning. We don't want to miss out on anything. So we'll do a very, very packed half an hour of clearance and a very, very packed half an hour of uh, Japanese fabric, just so you get a taster of everything we had for the show. This is obviously where it was supposed to be. This show is, is where it's supposed to be at 10 o'clock. Oh, we didn't get Elliot to come and fix the, fix the clock in the break. Never mind. Right, you all know Cheryl. Here's Cheryl. Wave Cheryl in a sparkly top. Right, let's, be, let's just do something first of all before we go any further. How's your eye? Oh, much better. What an accident that was. I threw um, a cleaning product all over my face. It had sulfuric acid in it. And I spent 10 days in and, in and out of eye casualty. I mean, I know we laughed about it, but it was quite serious. It wasn't was, it? it was. I thought I was going to lose my sight, but luckily oh. I didn't. I burnt the complete cornea off the whole of my eye. Oh. So it's healing, it's getting there. I'm still not 100% um, but getting there. full getting there. vision. But you do realise you put new blue nail varnish on. Yes, <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, before we go on to what we've got with Cheryl, I need to remind you about the 12 days of Christmas. Everybody who buys today, there's a different prize every. No, not that. Oh, oh yes, that one, sorry. Every, every day during the 12 days, Days of Christmas there is a little present so because it's the first day today you get a free fat quarter you don't have to put a code in it's just added to your order it will be a designer one worth at least three pounds 75 just gets added to your order don't worry now because it's 12 days of Christmas if you shop on six of those days doesn't have to be six consecutive any six days out of those 12 you will then get free P&P for the whole of January so you need to buy, you need to shop for at least six of the days in the next 12 days. Today's day one. So by day 12, you need to have shopped for six on six of the days. You'll get free PMP for the whole of January. Right. So let's start. Let's start at the very beginning. You, if you've watched uh, Cheryl before, you'll know exactly what she does. She does the family of Ollie, Molly and Polly. Right. We're going to now, I've got an exclusive coming up for you today to do with Polly. But I just want to introduce you to Ollie, first of all. This is, this is Ollie, the boy doll. $24.99. Now, I need to explain what you get here, right? So you get the whole of the pamphlet of how to make him. You get all of the pattern pieces uh, that you need to cut him out. Now, there is no fabric or anything like that. So what you do is after you've bought this from us, you then go to um, Cheryl's website and you can choose your skin tones and buy your fabric for your skin tones. You buy your hair colour, you buy your clothes, you buy everything like that from her. The $24.99 is the pattern and the instructions. But you do get a free PDF for a T-shirt, right? T-shirt. Now, I need to stress something. When you buy it, you need to have an email address for the PDF to be sent to you. So if say you buy this from us today, right? This will be sent to you in the post, solid, right? With this, 
and you'll get and you'll also get an email with the PDF for the free pattern for the free T-shirt, right? Then you go to um, Cheryl's website, which is polydollydoodah.com. .co.uk, .co right? And then you buy from there the hair, the skin tones, and all the bits and bobs, the tubular bits and everything that you need from there. So that's that one, $24.99, right? We also have Molly, who is the baby of the family. So again, <laughs> if you buy this from us today for $24.99, you get the whole of the instructions of how to put her together. You get all the pattern pieces, and you get a free BD, B, PDF for a bonnet and booties. booties. That's right. Right? So again, this will come through the post from you. I think it comes from it you. It does come here. from me, yeah, directly. comes from Cheryl, right? You get that. And you'll, we need your email address so we can send you the PDF of the free pattern, right? And that makes this one. There she is. Oh. <laughs> But again, you'll need to buy from Cheryl the hair, the skin, the skin tone and everything like that. All the bits you need to make the dress, you need to get that from Cheryl. So today's exclusive, right, is you can buy from me today the pattern uh, for Polly Dolly. Right, again, this is the same as I've shown. You'll get all of this, the pattern pieces, the booklet of how to make her and everything like that. Again, you will need to go to Cheryl's website to buy the hair and the skin and the fabric for the dress and everything like that, right? But the exclusive today is for free, you get a PDF download. It's huge, right? PDF download of the Pixie outfit. So have a look at the Pixie. This is the blue one. Okay, so no, no, the pink one. Ignore the pink one. The pink one's not a Pixie. Ignore the pink one completely. She's a fairy. It's just the blue one. The pink one is fairy, which is coming in the future. It's only the blue one. But, 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 don't panic. On the website, there are eight different colorways that you can choose from, right? But it's that pattern, the blue pattern that you're getting for free. So it's a PDF pattern for her dress, for her little ears. Yes. And was there something else? Shoes. And the shoes, the little shoes. The little and shoes. the wings. And the wings on the back. Turn around at right? the back. The wings so you on the back. See her so exactly. that is complete. There you go, the wings on the back. That pattern, that PDF pattern, is completely and utterly for free if you buy the Polly Dolly pattern today, right? Obviously, you'll need to buy the fabric and the and the, the things to make the booties and the wig, uh, the wings and everything like that with. But the pattern is free. But we do need your email address, a correct email address to send the PDF to. So for twenty four ninety nine, you're getting the pattern again and the pieces to make Polly Dolly. But the free gift that comes with it is this: the pixie dress, the ears, and the booties and the wings. So that's quite a, that, there's quite a few pages here. Look. And that will do, do all of that. And if when you go to the website to buy all the bits you need, there are eight different colours. Mm, that's correct. That's right, it? yeah. Now, if you've already got Polly Dolly Doodah, the pattern, and you just want to buy the Pixie PDF, that's there. Now, th this is a PDF. Is always this solid, this one? This yes, is a PDF, 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 PDF. So you get the PDF. Because uh, you may already have this. If you've already got this from the last time Cheryl was on, you might think, oh, I just want to get that. So that is, a, we will definitely need your email address for that. So that will be emailed to you. And then, of course, you can go onto the website and you can choose which colour organza you're going to get, which colour you're going to make the wings out of, uh, and all that sort of thing, and the, and the skin tone to make the ears yes, out yeah. of and things like that. There's the wings. Have you got a close-up of the ears? I can tell oh, you okay, okay. Don't worry, we can show it as we're going along. There's shoes. Are they knitted? They are. They're knitted in like a lurexy sort of crochet yarn. Oh, very nice. Anchor, I think it is. Yeah, we'll show we'll show the ears close up as we go through it now. So, what are you going to show us? Well, today, today I'm going to show you how to construct the dress. Really, it's Perfect. really easy because it's a no sew tutu. So a no sew tutu. A no sew tutu. So I've got all the components that I need to just briefly go through and show you how. Um, the dress is constructed, mm -hmm. plus I'm going to show you how to make the wings. Perfect. We're going to do a bit of glittering and that's where Lovely. I'm going to get a little bit messy. Okay, so now if somebody's, buy, if somebody's never seen you here before, yeah. um, uh, can we get dates for when Cheryl's been on last? 
And we won't do it now. We'll do it during the show, just because we're not going to do the doll today. But you might be wanting. You might be seeing August this the eighteenth was the first day oh, I came oh, on with you. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. What was it? Go on. <laughs> August the eighteenth. August the eighteenth. Right. Go to YouTube, Sewing Street. August the eighteenth, yeah. and you can see how to make yes, the base. Is that the one with me? That was the one with you. Right. That's right. We, we, where you make the doll from start to finish, yeah. the naked yeah. doll from start to finish in that hour. Yeah. So if you've just come to us the first time, thinking how on earth I want to make one, I want to make one, but don't know how to do it. August the, August the 18th. 18th, go to the YouTube then and you'll, because we're not going to make any of the dolls today, we're just doing the dress and the That's wedding. That's right, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Right, okay. okay. So. Right, did you want to show your... Or, no, or it's because it's nearly sold oh, out. Oh, oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right, okay. So, on to making um, the pixie, pixie dress. Yes. The uh, little pixie tutu. So... What you need is organza. Now, like John said, I have got this on my website. I've got it in about eight different um, colorways. They're in half meter pieces. Right. So you can actually buy online organza in half meter pieces. There are some suppliers that do do it, but a lot of suppliers are selling it by the meter. Right. You need three colorways, ideally. Um, she's got blue, aquamarine and silver um, in her a little outfit Oh, so here. you can make your own, you can create your own. Yeah, you can create your own colours, Have you got yeah. a pink? You must have a pink. Um, the right? one that I'm showing you at the end oh, there is lilac, yes, white and pale pink. I could, they're kind so, of unicorn colours, aren't yes, they? Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so you can have, you know, you, you put together your own colour range oh, of what, what you brilliant, want brilliant, to do. Brilliant. Um, the bodice for the dress is basically half a fat quarter. So it's only a tiny small piece that you need um, to make um, the bodice. Let yeah. me show you on Ruby here. So Ruby's got the under skirt of the outfit on there. So okay, so why, why is she called Ruby then? Because she was the doll that I made when I did my 13 videos right. um, on YouTube. We tend to name all our dolls differently. So okay. if you go onto my group, everyone's named their dolls differently. Fine. Um, um, she is Polly because she is the original Polly. Right, okay, okay. But she's Polly the Pixie. Right, okay. This is Flory the Fairy. Okay, let's just explain because we've got this fairy on the end, on the end here. Yes. The fairy's not ready yet, is she? Hopefully it'll be ready at the weekend. Right, okay. I've just got to do the um, the tutor uh, the, the PDF on Yeah, there. so but we're not doing that today. That's just something that's coming in the in, future. But again, it's organza. Yeah. Three, three colours. It's the same it's sort of all, Yeah, the bodice right. is very similar. Yeah. But right. so we're not doing that today. We're doing the pixie. We're doing, we're just doing we're the doing pixie, pixie thing. Which I have to say is my favourite. Yes, it is lovely, lovely isn't it? Lovely. Yeah. Right. Okay, so, so, okay. So before you cut your um, <coughs> organza, do make sure that you iron it. Because you do need, I mean, I did iron it last night, but it's all gone a bit yeah. close uh, before you cut it out. So this is a half a metre piece of organza. And what I'm going to do is just cut this into strips. Okay. Now, first thing I'm going to do is just cut the selvage off. Right. Because we don't want that. <coughs> and then you're cutting 15 strips from the first colour. Now, they need to be about six centimetres wide. Yeah. Now, remember, if you don't get the fabric in the kit, you have to uh, go to Cheryl's website to, yeah, and buy you, you this. Go to, yeah, you go and buy the, uh, yeah. the fabric. So I'm just going to cut four of each colour here. Okay. And they're approximately six centimetre Strips. Strips. So that's three of the mint. And then I'm going to do three lemon. Uh huh. And three, four. Sorry, I'm just going to throw that on the floor down. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> so any sort of floaty fabric, you could do this whole um, no so tutu uh -huh. in just net. Yes. Or voil. It doesn't oh, yes, ha you yes, don't yes. have to use um, organza. Or what you could do is use one layer of organza and a couple of layers of different coloured net because yes. that would make it very tutu esque. Yes, well, it? I'm yeah. going to put one one layer um, of, of net in uh -huh. to show you how to do that. So I just do three pieces of that. And then this, oh, do you know what? This is my most favourite one, this colour. This is, I think this one is called aquamarine. Uh huh. Beautiful colour. Yeah. So I'll just Santa Maria aquamarine, that one, isn't it? It's gorgeous. So I'll just cut three of these. So this measurement here, this is half a metre. Right. Which is 50 centimetres. Uh -huh. Give or take a bit. It depends on how it's and cut. And it doesn't matter if you cut it slightly... Scoot with? Ruggedy, no, not really. It? I don't know where that word came from, but it just kind of doesn't matter. You no, it doesn't. You don't need a ruler and things. No, just no, you don't. So yeah. as long as you've got the 50 centimetres in length, length yeah. 
and the width of the fabric, which is about 61 centimeters, yeah. the tutu is going to come out knee lengthish. Perfect. If you want your to your dress to be longer than that, then you would need to buy a meter and a half because you need that extra length. Of course. Yeah. If you want it to be knee length, then you would probably cut your strips at 40 centimeters okay, in perfect. length. Right, okay, now this will fray. This will fray quite badly if mm -hmm. we don't seal it. Right. So what we do for sealing, I'm going to put my glasses on here. Oh, okay, are they safety na glasses? No, we're going to use a naked flame. Okay, right, now I just need to do a, qu a quick warning here. This is the way in the industry that we, we finish uh, chiffons and organzas and organ deeds and things like that. Please be careful at home when you do this. Yes. It's up to you. Now, now the other thing is, can I just say, first of mm. all, if you're just going to make po uh, Polly the pixie and put her in a glass cabinet and everything, you don't actually have to finish your chiffons off. It's just if it's Probably, being touched the yeah, whole time. Yeah, if it's going it? to be played with yeah. and, and sort of touched. Mind you, saying that, when you are sort of working with it, it does tend to fray. A little bit, but even sometimes so, that's yeah. quite nice. But it anyway. is a good idea to seal the edges. So it's up to, to you. seal your edges yeah. of your organza, actually, I've gone on too far. I need to oh. just snip. The bottom edge of the pieces into a little V. So again, it hasn't got to be perfect. Yeah. You're just snipping away at the bottom there. I'll just do a couple. I have got my fire extinguisher ready just to be on the safe <laughs> just side. Just in case. So I'm just snipping away. So you're V'ing off the bottom uh -huh. of the organza. That just gives that nice sort of petally, yeah. floaty sort of effect at the bottom. And then all you do is you take your fabric okay, and ready? it's always easier to do it oh, on a tea on. light. We've just got out of focus a second. Hang on, let's just bring it back into focus. I'll be back in focus. Not always quite. The camera's not like in a flame. Oh, That's isn't what it? it is. Okay. Well, we'll have to do it. Oh. From afar. I can do it from afar, maybe. But oh, oh, hang on. The ca oh, oh, we've got no. issues galore. All right, go, oh, go, okay. go. Okay, okay. So you just basically run the organza, not on the flame, but along the edge of the flame, and that is going to seal that edge. And what is it? Because it's got polyester in it, it's, it it's, melts yes, the edge Yes, it's melting the slightly. edge, and that is going to seal it and prevent, in, prevent it from fraying. And you can do this with any fabric yeah. that is frayable. You can just run it along the edge. If you scorch it and you get a brown scorch mark, then don't worry because you just slip that off. Yeah. You just cut that off. When I do that edge there, I just sort of go around the corner. Yeah. It's easier to do it on a tea light because you can go above it and you can see where the flame is. Yeah, so exactly. you can run the edge of it, not quite yeah. on, Hannah on the flame. Hannah had to practice this morning using a lighter and yeah, we had an did. issue. She took it outside, didn't she? she yeah, she took it outside, but we, yeah. we didn't have a car park <coughs> afterwards. <laughs> so, yeah, so that is how you seal all, all the, the edges. edges of the organza. Okay. A bit time consuming, but it needs to be done. But no, if totally. you don't do it, it's going to fray. It's also uh, a very good way if you've got a fabric and you don't know if it's got polyester in it. That's the way it, back in the industry when we find some fabric in a, in a storeroom. Going, oh, should we make it like this? What's he got in? If you like the ends, if it's got a, a man made fabric like an acetate or, or a polyester in it, the ends just bobble up and melt. So you know that it's not 100% cotton because the cotton will just burn. Mm. That's how you can tell. But please, if you do it, please be careful. Don't yes, be going, do. oh, sorry, Mr. Fire, <laughs> and John Scott told me to set fire yeah, to it. Yeah, so just be careful. Yeah. But always use, I tend to use a, a tea light because you can be, you can go over yeah. it rather than using a candle. And just do it on its own, away yeah. from everything else, else in yeah. a quiet room, no, yeah. where nobody's going to come in what and you're disturb doing. you. Yeah. 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 Um, right. Also, in the mix of this, we're adding some net. Now, this is I think this is voile rather than net because it's a lot softer. Yeah. You can tell the difference between a voile rather than a net. Yeah. Now, you can buy these. I've got a stack of these um, at home. You can buy them on eBay. Have you, I don't know oh, whether do you... Do not sell this, then? No, I don't sell okay. the net. I mean, I might be able to get some, um, but at yeah. the moment, I don't. Again, you need um, your strips of this. So... I. I think I might have forgot to tell you that you need 15 strips of each colour. So It's all in the instructions. All in the instructions and 15 strips of the net if you're going to use that as well. Yep. And again, what you're doing, <coughs> you need to cut that end bit, that you probably can't see because it's so light, into that little V shape as well. Okay. Okay, so then you've got, you've got, you'll have four, four, 45? 15, 30, 45 yeah. of them yeah. and 15 of those. Right. Then you take a clipboard or a book or anything that you can wrap a ribbon around. 
Right. So I'll put this on a clipboard. That's the poshest clipboard I've ever seen. It's rather nice, isn't, isn't it? it? Nice. Yes. Yeah. Uh, now that we measurement... We don't sell those. No, don't sell them. No. That measurement from that pin mark there to where I've clipped it on there is 26 centimetres. Now that's the average size of her waist. Right. <coughs> so I know that I've got to put my Noso Tutu in that area there and what's left at the back, that's what I'm using to tie around her waist. Okay, lovely. So it's really easy. So we start with the first colour. We're going to start with the aquamarine blue. You put it on. So if Hannah made one of these for herself to go to a Christmas party, she'd just need a piece of cardboard the size of her waist. That's right. You do it the size of your waist. Now, when you've tied that on like that, you yep. just scrunch that bottom bit through there yep. and you tie tight and you push up to the pin. Right. So our next colour is going to be lemon. So bring it up, squish it at the bottom, tie it tight. And then I think my next colour is going to be a bit of the net. So I do it, you do it in order. So you run, you run it through in the same order. Oh, okay, so it's not random. You, no, once you've I got you, so if you go blue, yellow, net, blue, that's the order you have to that's go all right, the way through. That's right, yeah, and then mint. Okay. And you just push it up as tight as you can get it. Yeah. So squish at the bottom, push it along, and you just keep working like that. I'll just okay. do one more. Quick message section. for you. Good morning, Cheryl and fellow Polly Dolly doers. I have just bought my pattern from Elaine in Staffordshire. Oh, hi, Elaine. Is it Elaine Page? <laughs> Sing us a song, Elaine. Do you know what? You're right. There is, a, there is a smell of like Christmas pine trees and fur in here, is there? It's a very nice tree. It's what? It's a very nice tree that you've yeah, got there. Yeah, thank you. That's uh, the new boy. Who we, is he Paul or Martin? One of them, the new boy oh. and Hayley from marketing and Kat did that. Oh, very oh, nice. And Ian, and Ian helped you. Got well, another it's all Christmassy now because we're mm. on the first, aren't we? Yeah, so. exactly. Beautiful and pretty. Bring more, please. Can't <laughs> wait for the next project. So we haven't even done this one yet. <laughs> I'm already thinking ahead of the next one. Yeah. I've got ideas. Good. Okay, so basically I've put on just a few layers there so you can just see how it's working out. Uh -huh. And you push it tight. And obviously the ends will be snipped into that V of shape. Course, They're yes, a bit yes, yes, yes. straight at the moment. And then what you end up with is when you've done your 26, up to your 26 centimetre, uh -huh. you're going to end up with a tutu, a no-so tutu. How brilliant. Which looks like that. That. Oh, I think I might make one for Hannah for Christmas. You know. Lovely, isn't it? You could even wear it yourself. Yeah, please. yeah, exactly. Lovely. So then that... Okay, before you go any further, I've got a mm. question from Paula. Yes. So it says, with the Polly Dolly Fairy Tale Edition, do you have the pattern to make the doll itself plus the PDF to make the fairy outfit? For this $24.99 here, you get the whole manual for the Polly Dolly. You get, which is just, I'd, let me just flick through this book because it's just the most incredible book of instructions, look. So that's everything you need to do to make the dolly herself. So that there will make Polly Dolly. In that, also in there, you get all the pattern pieces you need to make Polly Dolly. That's all your $24.99. And then your free gift is your PDF download. That's for the dress, the ears, the wings, and the shoes. Look, I don't think I've got everything here, but you know what I mean? It's like, you can see how many pages you get. There's the wings. There's, uh, is it, I think I've got the shoes missing. Oh no, I've got no. the ears missing, haven't yeah, I? Yeah, you've here? got the shoes and ears missing. So look, so in here, look, this PDF goes on for pages. Look, that's how to make it. And then the pattern pieces are here, look. So everything you need and the instructions for how to do the bit that um, Cheryl's just done there. That will, that you get all of that for free within there. So you, yes, Paula, Paul, was it Paula or Pauline? You do get the instructions on how to make the dog. Now you can buy this on its own as well if you want to. You can buy that on its own as well if you want to, but if you want the one with the whole doll, you only need the whole kit. And then what you do is once you've got that home, you then get in touch with Cheryl on Cheryl's website and you can buy the skin tones and the hair and the fabric and everything like that. Right. Lovely. Okay, so going back to this dolly. So this is the underskirt of the pixie dress. Oh, okay. Right. So it's basically a bodice, a low neck bodice with a little um, flutter sleeve. Yeah. 
and lining. So you only need a small amount of fabric. So half a fat quarter will do the bodice. Yeah. A small piece of dress lining. It's best to use a lining rather than a cotton so that the, the tutu over the top will slip uh -huh. uh, better. And then all you're doing is you're taking... For, for the ruffle the sleeves, ends. have you used some of your... I've used another one of these. One of those, yeah. And I've folded it. It's a bit wider. It's 10 centimetres. Yeah, you've got, folded that's it in, in half, your half metre, isn't it? Yeah. 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 yeah, it's within your half a yeah. metre. Um, folded it in half, gathered it along. Yeah. So that is just going to go around her waist. So when you make your poly, your actual poly do dolly do da, you again choose the skin tones and the colour of hair. So you could do like the one you've got there. Yes. You could make identical to the one yes. you've got there, so or you can make the blonde yeah. one, or you've got about eight different skin tones that you can choose from. Yes, as well, there's six you? skin yeah. tones. This is Sunkiss. Yeah. Let me just make sure she's pulled up there, and she's got the brunette hair. Yeah. So yeah, so you can see that sweet little tutu-y dress. And it's you not attached, is, it's just, it, it's, it's loose. I, it, I mean, I know it's lovely for the doll, but actually it's a brilliant idea for little children's fancy dress yes, or absolutely. Christmas morning yeah, dresses yeah, and yeah. things like that, yeah. isn't it? You can just I make first it so did one of these in 1983 oh, yes. when I had my bridal shop and we just got married, new house, sewing room, had a mannequin in the corner and I thought I need to put something on her. Oh, yes. And I did her whole dress in pink net oh, wow. and I just cut strips up and I just tied it on and all the way around and she stood in that sewing room for about six months oh. and it was just all pink net and it yeah, was yeah. lovely. So you didn't use the dress form at all then? It no, just no, just yeah, yeah, she, <laughs> she, she looked great. So yeah, so a really, yeah, like you say, easy, great for fancy dress. Yeah, brilliant. Um, you know, really quick and easy to do and again, it's brilliant because there's no sew. No. So, um, you know, no sewing on that part. So yeah, so Fantastic. we'll pop Ruby over there. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll just quickly go on to show you the oh, new... Oh, okay. Quick, I've got another quick question for you before you yes, move on please to the do. next bit. Uh, love the doll. Oh, good question, Victoria. Is there an angel policy? Because there is, you do have strict policies. Yes, right? I do, yes. Yeah. So if you decided that you wanted to go ahead and actually start selling the dolls, uh, which a lot of people are, you become a licensed seller. And you can buy a license off me for £65 for a year, and that will then give you permission to go out and sell your dolls wherever you like, craft shows, on your website, on your Facebook page, anything like that, um, because all the patterns are trademarked. Right. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I've got you know quite a few licensed sellers. We've also got our own um, Facebook group as well. So the, the best thing to do is basically contact you, yeah. isn't it? And you yeah. can explain Just it fully. Then. We'll, we'll, we'll tell you the basics, but yes, if you want the yeah. full terms and conditions, then the best I thing to do is... I can email it over to you. So if you, if you want to know about the licensing details, then please just email me and I'll uh, uh, send you over the details. Perfect. So, so the next we exciting next? thing is we've got a new range of hair. Oh, so wow. Hair. Okay, and we've got the aquamarine up there as well. So we've got four new colours. So we've got aquamarine bluey colour. Yeah. And then I've got a lavender colour. Um, I've got the candy floss colour yeah. and I've got the peppermint colour. Okay. So, um, and these are being hand dyed by me. Oh my word. I know, I know. Everyone saying, well, why are you taking on that job as well? I was going to say. Because I haven't got enough to do. Yeah, exactly. But it's, they're on the website as we speak now. My website launched this morning at 9.58 with all the new products. I right. laid it all on yesterday. It was all scheduled to run today. Brilliant. The new mohair is on there. But if anyone wants to order these new colours, I'm saying it's about a week just over for processing because once your order comes in, I've then actually got to physically hand dye it for you. Okay. Now, so, I've just got to... Uh, Bernadette says, Hi, John Nor, Our sister channel, Jewelry Maker, already has a handheld machine to finish edges of fabric oh, nice. without the lit flame. It finishes off cords and fabric. Lots mm. of love from B. So that's a good, if you don't want to yeah. use the candle, go to our sister channel, uh, Jewelry Maker, and have a look on their website. They might, if you're going to make a lot of them, it'd be worth investing yes, in yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. It? Yeah, that sounds good. Definitely. Right, okay. So what are we moving on to next? So the next thing, I'm going to show you the wings. Yes, please. And this is where I'm going to get really muck messy. Oh, this, no. We're going to glitter all over the place. But <laughs> hey, I do, like, I do like a bit of mess. Right. Well, after you've gone, there's only me here all day today, so that's oh, fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's all right then. So uh, you'll be covered in glitter. That's my, fine. My poor husband, he's always covered in glitter. Aww. Actually, I'll pick a big shout out to Mr. Duda because he's great. He's right beside me the whole time Aww. I'm doing stuff. But he's so. covered in glitter. So Hi, if they, Mr. Duda. If they get, what's your hometown? Your hometown is your dress. What, where, what? Southampton. Southampton. So if you see a man walking around all glittery, Very glittery. It's yeah, Mr. say hello, Mr. Duda. Poor old Roger. He does, you know, have to part up with glitter everywhere. Aww. So, hey, <laughs> this is the... Um, this is the wings that you will get. Now, I've got here, these are the fairy wings. Uh-huh. 
Right, okay, I just need you to move slightly to your left, please. No, your left. Yeah, and bring the, bring the, bring the, you see on the screen, like, you just underneath, that's it. That's Is that it, better? That's it. Yeah, perfect, lovely. There was a marker on the table, it's oh, gone. Oh, no, they've all gone, don't oh, worry about the okay. table's been moved. Yeah. But you're in the perfect place. I'm there, in the so perfect fine, place yeah. here, right, okay, good. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make the fairy wings. Brilliant. Pixie wings are exactly the same. I was going to do the fairy wings because they're slightly uh, bigger. I'm going to show you how to glitter. Right, so the wings these you're going to get with the pixie dress are the more are the pixie spiky wings, wings yes, aren't they? Yes, that's here, right. There you go. So these are, this is your pattern piece here. You're getting these. You're getting this shape. The, fe the pixie wings you're getting. The pixie uh, wings. Cheryl's going to demonstrate on the... Um, Fairy wings, because they're slightly bigger. Slightly bigger, right, okay. I need to get some glitter out. I will move, oh, back. No. I will move back into that position. She wasn't, she wasn't messy when no. she said she had a lot of glitter. Okay, let's get right. myself organised. Right, okay, so what, you're going to, what you've got in your pattern is a template uh -huh. um, for the pixie wings. Right. Now, it's just a outline, so right. you need to photocopy this onto acetate righty ho okay you need to photocopy it onto an acetate sheet and it's going to look like, like. this i know okay it's a oh wow sale. so when you photocopied that onto acetate right and can you do that on a normal photocopy machine then yes you can yeah as long as you put your acetate sheet in the paper feeder yeah and you put your pattern in the scanner bit yeah and then press copy yeah that will feed through and copy photocopy that onto Brilliant. acetate however these will be on the my website okay so you can buy you'll be able to buy a sheet of acetate with it already printed on so um they'll be on i didn't get a chance to do it um last week so yeah they'll be they'll be available for you okay so and was that a white box Hannah or just a question okay don't worry Barb Barb you go to Polly Dolly doodah.co.uk to get by all the fabrics and the skin fabric and the hair and everything like that it's all available on there okay so then the next thing you do is you cut your the only problem is why they're so small you can't see them there they are you cut your wing out from your acetate. Yeah. You cut your your wing out. Okay. Okay. So you cut around that that line. I've done the line quite thick along the outside. Yeah. You can cut through the line, and that will give you your wing. Now there's two. There's a lower wing and an upper wing. Oh yes. So you've got the top of the wing and the bottom of the wing. Right. You have. On there. Well, actually, hang on. I've got one, two, three, four bits yeah, of Yeah, you I've mine. done it in, in different sizes. So uh, oh, so it's the same this, thing, just different Yeah, I've sizes. also got a really big wing that you could put on her. Now, if you're going to go for the big wing, I would suggest yeah. that you laminate it. Okay, oh, blimey, Because it's yeah. not going to make it, it's going to make it a bit too floppy otherwise. Yeah, we don't and want you that. you see, there do is the smaller wing. So that's Lovely. the bigger wing. Oh, come around here. And that's the smaller wing. So you've got those two pat you got those two patterns in the um, in the pack. Right now I can't find my two. What have you lost? I've got two two wings that I'm going to glitter up and I can't find them. Well, I'll, I'll, I can glitter on this one. <laughs> you unpeeled so, one. Have you lost? Is it? No, there were two. There were two small pieces. Oh, and that's that's another way to show you just how to do it. That's on a piece of card. Oh, okay. So you could photocopy it on a piece of card. Yeah. And that'd be a great craft activity for, to do with the children. Oh yeah! So you know, kids love glitter and stuff. So yeah, not so that's just it. Kids. Just absolutely. So that's it. Just copied out onto yeah. some card. Right. Let me just move these over and see if I can find it again, right. because I've lost two pieces. But it doesn't matter because I can use this one here. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your glue. Now, just a normal um, PVA glue. Right. And you need to just use a, a glue spatula. Again, they're on my website. Yeah, or pastry brush. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I, I would like this glue spatula because you really need to smooth off. Oh, okay, so not a pastry brush. No, then. you need a really thin layer of glue to start with, or you could use um, a spray glue. Of you course, You can get those yeah. spray glues, those spray craft glues. Mm -hmm. So I'm just basically layering up the glue on there. And then I'm taking my 
glitter. Uh huh. And here we go. Um, now, back in the Blue Peter days. Yes, I put my Valerie Singleton hat on here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You put it over a piece. Oh, you're going to do that. Over, a piece, of, <laughs> over a piece of folded paper. <laughs> Fold your paper already so you've yeah. already put your fold in it. She really is doing a Valerie Singleton moment, look. And then you take your Or glitter. Sarah Green, depending on how old yeah, you are. Yeah, absolutely. So use a base colour to start with, either a silver, a gold or a white. Okay, so do you sell this glitter? Yes, I do, but I haven't actually got it on the website yet. But I've Oh, got, come on, I know, I've been so busy, it's my eye, it set me back. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got all the glitter and the glitter will be on the website hopefully at the weekend. Okay. Tap it off. Yeah. And then it, just pop it, it back on there and then you just tap the glue so that it's actually sticking into the wing yeah so that's a lovely iridescent white um that we've started with uh-huh can you just drop the other graphics out hannah a minute the side graphic because we can't see that that way you stay where you are Cheryl. there you go there you go there you go so, yeah nice and nice and sparkly yeah brilliant okay so then the next job is let's put this white away yeah because <laughs> i don't want to get any pink well in no there. what you do if you were valerie singleton yes is you'd fold the piece of paper paper's got a fold yeah. in it already and then you slide and then you it just back in so there's no waste slide it back in there that's it yeah absolutely so you don't want any waste yeah. and then next thing we're going to do is we're going to add yeah some colored glitter right so i've got three colors here i just need to Get rid of the caps that are inside. So I've got a lilac. Oh, so you've got like a pepper spray. Yes. Not spray, but pepper. Like a, like a sprinkle pot. Yeah, pepper pot. pot, yeah. Yeah. And again, I am going to get these. Um, I'm going to get puffer bottles. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. For, uh, to put on the website. So, yeah. yeah. But these are just like sprinkle bottles. Yeah. So just to get rid of those. The thing is, you might already have, you do a lot of crafting. You might already yeah, have Yeah, you might already things, have all the stuff mean. that you need. Yeah. Right, come out that, that one there. Okay, now what I needed that other wing, but I don't know what I've done what I've done with that. I've probably dropped it on the floor somewhere. But hey, not to worry. You really need that to dry. Yeah. Now you need that to dry overnight, ideally. I've got two two floor. small pieces like that. Yeah. I can't find them. I don't know what I've done with them. But not to worry. Because because I can't re I can't sprinkle this on here yet because this needs to be dry so okay. i did have one that i did you know it was my valerie singleton moment this is one i've done earlier yeah but I can't find, oh look it's still you do that while, while i just read this message out for yes. you yes uh morning john and cheryl loving the demo <clears throat> i met cheryl at the knitting and stitching show she's oh, so gosh. enthusiastic about her gorgeous dolls from kayla carla in suffolk oh hi <clears throat> I wonder what could have happened to it then. Yeah, not to worry. I, I'm not going to do it on that side that I've just glittered because yeah, it's still damp. Yeah, on the other side. So yeah. when that's dried, mm -hmm. after it's dried, you then take your glue again. Oh, I'm doing a video on this. Oh, good. I'm going to be doing a video on this at the weekend. Where hopefully. do people go to find your they videos? They go into YouTube and they just put in the search bar Polly Dolly Doodah and or just Polly Dolly and all my will videos come will come up. up. So, yeah, we'll pretend I haven't glittered this side. Yeah, yeah. So we'll pretend that that's white. So yeah. what you do again is you then add another layer. Over the whole wing. Over the whole wing. Right. And then this time you take your sprinkle pots or your yep. puffer bottle and you just tap on the additional colours. Oh, I yeah, see. Yeah, you can put I on see, one see, colour see. or yeah. you can put on two colours or three colours, whatever colours, you whatever. want. Well, if you did the three colours of your skirt, that'd be nice yes. as well, wouldn't it? Yes, that would be. And again, once you've done that, press it on so that you know that it's really sticking uh -huh. into the glue. And then the final trick yeah is mm. you take, well, lost now i've got it oh <laughs> you take your <gasps> oh what color is that gold glitter come on now valerie singleton never did another this. valerie singleton moment with some more glue and you're going to outline the edge so i'm just taking a brush uh -huh. and i'm just adding the glit the glue yeah. To the outside edge of the wing. Mm -hmm. We'll just do this top portion. And again, match it with, you know, however you want to match it. I've matched it with the shoes. 
Yeah. So she's got gold shoes, so she would have a gold outline um, on her wing. Yeah. So I'm just going to do that top Michelle's machine, there. she loves a bit of glitter, does Michelle? Oh, you can never have enough glitter, no. can you? Absolutely. So then you take that. Yeah. And now we've got our gold glitter and we've got our folded piece oh, of yes, paper yes, ready. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We take our spoon. Yeah. And then we sprinkle on the gold. And Just again, you need to leave it that 24 hours to dry. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Otherwise, it will, you know, it will smudge onto the other colour. Give it colors, a tap yeah. out. And then press it down. Tap it. With your fingers. Uh-huh. And then leave that to dry overnight. Yeah. And then when in the kitchen, so it gets in the way of the cooking. <laughs> Roger was trying to cook his tea the other <laughs> He was trying to cook the tea the other night and there was glitter oh. and fairy wings and everything. You can buy edible glitter everywhere. as well. Oh hang on, what have we got now? Now we've got hairspray. Now the candle's definitely blown I've out. Put the flame it? out. <laughs> the flame's well gone. So the next day, yeah. when your glue's dried, yeah. you need to seal the glitter. Right. Because otherwise the glitter might crumble off a bit. So yeah. you just take hairspray. Is it just normal everyday normal hairspray? Normal everyday. That it's looks like a, a brand. cheap brand, that one. Oh, no, oh, it's no. not. No, no it's so not yeah, you just take your hairspray. It can be anything, any yeah. sort of hairspray. And you just spray. Do you use hairspray in real life, then? I do. This I is the one I use normally. <laughs> <laughs> this is my hairspray, but on this morning. I was probably you've got glitter in your hair as well. <laughs> Give it a little shake. Yeah. Leave that out yeah. in the kitchen <laughs> to dry. <laughs> and then the next day, that would be completely sealed. Right, brilliant. So that glitter will now be nicely sealed. Yeah. Um, and it's not going to... Four. So do you do that because you've got three different layers, oh is it three or two different you've got, layers of you've wing? Got, two you've got two parts to the wing, yeah. so you've got a top wing. Oh, I see, yes, yes, And yes, you've yes. got a bottom wing. Yeah. Okay, and then what you do is you stick the bottom wing in to, front on top to the top but wing. But only in that middle bit there, so only you've got the lovely section, articulation. Yeah, there, and yeah. then that little squarey bit that you've got there. Yeah square bit there you can stick a flower yep, or something yep. like that on brilliant then you turn it over and on the back bit yeah you stick a tab of velcro one touch fastening yeah yeah <gasps> no no it's fine because not everyone's is velcro <laughs> stick a tab of one touch fastening, fastening on yeah. there one touch <laughs> so you put your one touch fastening yeah. on that side yeah and then you also then <clears throat> put that take our pixie wings off i've sewn that onto the dress <coughs> and I've hot glue gun that yeah. onto the wings and then Brilliant. that we'll just, oh I definitely know what I'm making for Hannah for Christmas now we we'll just stick on there yeah like that she'll have to have a bit of velcro glued to her back though from now on <laughs> <laughs> so she could put her fairy wings on yeah so yeah so that would stick on maybe I'll know, make her on time on in the morning because she'll be able to fly in and not wait for an uber every morning so yeah so Basically, yeah, so that's the, a fairy wing. Right, lovely. There. You've got mm -hmm. the pixie wing there. Yeah. Um, this is another one I've done. This is foil, iridescent foil. Right. Trapped inside the wing. Oh, well, actually, okay. my daughter Ashley. Oh, yeah, Ashley, she's putting up a. She's putting oh, up but a it's a whole family <laughs> business now. <laughs> yeah, it actually it? works for me. Oh, oh. She's, she's the packer. Ashley's the one that packs all the kits. She's oh, okay. my daughter, yeah. So yeah. she's putting up a Christmas tree today. But oh. yeah, she did this one for me on Monday. So this is foil. Did she get paid to put up the Christmas tree or is she having a day off? Oh, no, she's having a day off. She's at home. Yeah. She's at home. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, so she foiled this one. So she took some iridescent foil and she put it inside the laminator right. with, the, with the fairy wing. And stuck it together. So that again gives that nice sort of iridescent. Yeah, no, that's incredible. Sort of that, look. Again, yes. you could glitter it. Mm. You could put gemstones on it. You could spot put sparkly rhinestones on it. Yeah. You know, the sky's the limit with decorating. Uh, you know, the wings Definitely. on how you want them. And yeah, so that was the the bigger. That's the bigger pixie wing there. So in the pack that they're going to get. Yep. I'm going to go through the three packs, got the three different packs wing that are available today. Yeah. And a big wing. Brilliant. So let me just take you back to the beginning of this, right? So today we have got um, Ollie Dolly, right? Which is the boy Dolly. You get in here, you get all your very, very thorough instructions of how to create him, how to make him, how to shape him, how to stuff him. And you get the pattern pieces. And that's $24.99. And you get a free PDF pattern 
for a t-shirt for him. In there, I'm presuming the shirt and the, and the shorts pattern is yes, in there, the isn't it? Yes, the shirt and the shorts But you is also get an additional t-shirt pattern PDF sent to you on your email. So that one there is $24.99. That's Ollie. That's the boy, right? We've got the baby that is Molly. Oh, sorry, I'll just jump there. So this one here is Molly, who's the dolly. Again, you get the complete booklet. When you think about um, uh, uh, instructions manual, I mean, that's a full-on proper one, isn't it, there? So you get that. You also get the pattern pieces for everything she's wearing there. Do you get that dress in there? Yes, you get the dress but and you get the... the socks, uh, no. The nappy uh, shorts... Uh, tra uh, Nappies. You get a nappy. Pants. Yeah, pants. That's the one. Yeah, that's <laughs> Don't the one. Don't be flashing them now. Yeah, so there's a nappy. So she's got a nappy on there. <gasps> she's done it now. Okay. There you go, right? But you also so get the nappy shorts. Plus all your pattern pieces for all of that for $24.99. And your free gift with that one is your bonnet and your booties. That's PDF right. pattern. 20th of October is when Molly was made on air if you want to go to the YouTube, right? Okay, now, today's exclusive launch and everything like that, you get Polly, who was the original doll, so you still get the whole brochure, you get the pattern pieces, right, for your $24.99. Obviously, you need to go to Polly, pollydollydoodah.co.uk to buy all the skin and the hair and everything like that, so you get all of that for your $24.99. So it's the instructions and the pattern pieces. But your free gift on this one is it? Well, the free gift's worth fourteen ninety nine on this one, isn't it? Because that's how much we're selling it for, right? Uh, is the pixie right? So you get the pattern and the instructions for the. This is a PDF, so we do need your email address. You get the pattern and the instructions to make the dress, the ears, the wings, and the booties, right? All come in there, right? It's a PDF pattern. Then again, once you've received it, you then go to polydoodar.co.uk and you can buy your chiffons and your fabrics. This, I don't need to be rude, but this, you could just use a lovely little fat quarter that you've got at home in your stack. Yeah, you absolutely. No, sometime. no, you've probably got something that you could use, so. Okay, and then all of this, and then you get your wing pattern and everything like that all comes in there. So that all that's your free gift, but we do need your email address to be able to send you that PDF. If you haven't got an email, then obviously you can send to friends or something like that, and we'll send it out to them. But make sure the only way you can receive, that won't come printed. You'll get this through the post, all printed up and everything like that, but you won't get this. This is a PDF, right? Now, you'll notice there's no graphics because graphics have just broken. So we'll, we'll just carry on. We do also have on the website, if you want to buy just that, that PDF, we can. If you've already bought Polly Dolly the last time uh, Cheryl was in, just the PDF. Oh, here we go. Is it going to work? Just the PDF for this. Oh, 16 .45. So your free gift is worth 16 .45. And remember, if you buy anything from us today, you get a free, oh, you get a free designer fat quarter. So that, mm -hmm. that could be your de de fat quarter to make the, the, the bodice and everything. And you also, it's day one, if you buy if you buy six days in this 12 days of Christmas, you'll get free P&P &P for the whole of January. Look, it's brilliant, isn't it? Right, so that's that, that's that, that's that, that's that, that's that. Just got one more wing I found, I forgot to show oh, you. Oh, you found it yeah. now. No, this yeah. was just another one I'd done playing around with. <coughs> this is just gel pen coloured in. It's so what? Gel pens I use. Can, so can you see it? I don't know whether you can yeah, 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 see yeah. it if I twist it around a little bit. So you could use gel pens to colour your wings in. Right. Um, and then put some sparkles on it. But yeah, that worked really well as well. So Brilliant. Now, we it. haven't talked about the ears, and <coughs> we're not oh, going to yeah, make ears. them, I would say, but no. we can, could you just talk us through yes, the so ears that you get as well? These ears, these are obviously pixie ears. So you get the free PDF for the ears uh -huh. um, with the promotion. Um, are they stitched? Are they they're stitched, stitched on. on. So they're stitched on in exactly the same manner that you would put Polly's normal ears oh, okay, on. OK, then fine. But these are just shaped um, uh -huh. as, a, as a pixie ear. So, uh, yeah, so that's... So, so when, when the, everyone gets their patterns and everything home, they yeah. then go to Polly Dolly Doodah. Yeah. They can choose. I, I, know I'm, I know I'm ramming this home bit, but I think it's important that you know what... You can then go to your website. Yeah. How many different skin tones? I've got six different skin six tones different that you can choose tones. from. Um, we've got six different kit colours for the hair, plus the nude Now, hang for... on, does that include... 
Is it six colours normally plus the three new ones or six in total? I, well, I've got 12 in total. Six are out of stock at the moment. OK, but I'm having the great next... difficulty getting stuff from Holland at the moment because of everything. Do you know your face is so covered in glitter? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> So, so the six there at the moment, but normally there's 12 yeah. different coloured yes, hairs. Yes, yeah. And if you go for the lilac, the, no, new, not the, lilac, the, the four pink, new colours. They're yeah. the ones you dye yourself. They're going to be hand-dyed, But you can yeah. choose all that. There's also fabric if you want to buy a fabric for the dresses. Yes, you don't right. have to buy it from them. I'm, I'm not being rude. No, no, but no. If you've got pretty fabric at home, you've got some tilde or yeah. some liberty at home that you want to make the clothes out of, because Absolutely you've got the pattern fine. in there for the clothes, you can then do that from there. But you will need all the, the fabric to make, like, the... the, the, the yeah, the doll skin, the doll jersey. Skin. I don't know what to call it. Doll jersey. Doll jersey, that's it. I'm, yeah. I was trying to think of the word for right, the doll yeah. jersey, doll jersey. Know, to make the yeah. doll. But it's all available on Cheryl's website. That's right. So that's where you go. So for all your $24.99 here, you get the brochure, the pattern pieces, and today the exclusive launch of the pixie dress, ears, booties, and Oh, there's and the little wings. slippers. Let yeah. me show you the shoes. Oh, yeah, show, yeah. and then do, let's do the slippers. So, let's do the slippers, yeah. These are knitted, little knitted uh, slippers. Do you have to get someone to knit them for you then? If you can't knit, you can, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> you can put them on with the little espadrille ties going up the leg. That's yeah. just a crochet chain. Lovely. Also got knitting and crochet. Yeah, knitting and crochet. But right. if you're doing a crochet chain on the hair, right. on the head cap, yeah. then you know you should be able to crochet a chain for exactly. the little espadrille exactly. ties. So she's got them like that. And then Flory over here, the fairy, she has just got them without Oh, without the, the, without the ties, ties going yeah. up. Yeah, so she's just got them as a little pair of loose slippers. Fantastic. So, yes. so, if that's all, Hannah, shall we round up and then we've got time to then do the clearance and the Japanese fabric? Because we've done everything we need to do. We have, yes. We've done absolutely everything we need to do. Have, yes, we've done absolutely we everything we need to do. Right, okay, so the manual with Polly, with the PDF, we couldn't put the graphics in early, here you go, $24.99. So you get the manual, you get the pattern pieces, you get the free PDF download. This won't come printed, that's a PDF that we'll send to you, so we need your email address. $24.99 for all of that. More people got it in the baskets than we've got stock of. So if you want it, you need to check out. You need to check out. Okay. Lots of people holding in baskets at the moment. Jackie says, absolutely loving the demo, Cheryl. Can't wait to, can't wait for my pixie pattern to arrive. Recently made my first Polly Dolly. My Facebook stream's full of the blooming things. <laughs> all of you, just say, yeah, all of you, so many of you have bought it and made it. Morning, John and Polly Dolly. Oh, you're called Polly Dolly now. Yeah. Uh, can't wait to get my fairy doll pattern. Love when you're on, John. You brighten my day. Oh, you're very kind. Uh, Shell from Aberdeenshire, Scotland. Oh, thank you, Michelle. That's very kind of you. I'm not really enthusiastic. I'm the most miserable person you're <laughs> ever likely to meet. Yeah, they're all agreeing. They're all agreeing in the website. All right, no, you'd have to agree. You're new. No, I'm sorry. You can't agree. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> anyway, it's really lovely oh, to see you. Oh, I love always. being here again. Oh, no, it's fantastic to see you. Because the thing is, I said this yesterday, all of our experts have a passion for what mm. they do. We don't just go and go, oh, would you come on and sew this for us? And somebody mm. goes, well, pay me this much and I'll sew it for you. It's all of our experts have such a passion yes, yeah. for what they do. do. And, and you I can really see, do. oh, yeah. oh, tell me about I it. I live, it's dream, eat and sleep, Polly. Glitter. Oh, Polly, oh, Polly. Yeah, yeah, I exactly. do, I really do. Uh, so do you know when you're coming back then? I'm hoping to come back in March for... March? Sewing so Street's second birthday. <laughs> so surprise, so surprise. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something. I'm yeah. To think of, I've got an idea of something, another new launch. Oh, does it include me? Oh, well, it would be nice to have you in the loom. Oh, no, I meant as a dolly. That was oh, all. Yeah. <laughs> no one, well, nobody would buy that. They'd be pinning, putting darts at it and everything yeah. like that. Anyway, you must go. Thank you ever Thank so much. Thank you so much. Have for a lovely, me. safe journey home. Send Will our do. love to, what was daughter called? Ashley. Ashley and, and Mr. Mr. Doodah. Doodah. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> I'll see you in about four minutes' time. So what we're going to do, because we lost that first hour this morning, we're going to come back with Japanese fabric, do a little bit of that, and then we'll do some clearance, and then we'll go to Yarn Lane. So thank you ever so much. I'll see you in four minutes. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. 
Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hi guys, I'm Becky Alexander Frost and I own a pattern brand called RJF Makes. RJF Makes is my initials, which is Rebecca Jane Alexander Frost. And most of you might know me as Baffa in the studio when John and Vic say our Baffa when I would message in. Favourite thing to make? I think people know me by now. I like to make bags, as you can see, I've got a few bags behind me. Um, most of my patterns are bags, um, however, there is a few craft style patterns available as well. Playing to fame, I used to previously be on another sewing channel <laughs> with John and Vix and the team, <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> and um, basically I used to work alongside some famous um, pattern designers testing for them. What got me into sewing was my mom. Um, when I was five I was um, standing next to her while she was sewing some bridesmaids dresses for me and my sister and basically I asked if I could um, learn to sew. She said I was a bit immature, still immature by the way. Um, she said I'm a bit young to learn her words and basically she said maybe when you're a bit older. So my when I turned eight, I basically learned to hand sew and by the age of 11 I had my first sewing machine. I'm now in my late 30s, but still act that eight year old. My favorite tools or top tips. So, I have two best friends. One's called the Bulky Sea Maid, which is this, and one is called Quilter Stay. This will help anybody, the Bulky Sea Maid will help anybody if you've um, got something bulky going underneath your presser foot. This will stop any stitches from jumping and basically missing a stitch. Now this is my best friend for when I would come to put in zips and you'll see me use this a lot. I mean a lot. Thank you ever so much and I'll see you all soon. Bye. In need of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. 
You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. As you can see, the Chris yeah, Christmas decorations are up and we're just having a discussion about the first day of Advent. The first day of Advent was Sunday, wasn't it? What day is it today? Oh no, an Advent calendar is different from the Sunday. Advent to the four Sundays before Christmas, aren't they? And then you get to Chris Dingle, don't you? Ha uh, which, which one was it you ate? What flavour was it? Okay, so Hannah had a Barbie Advent calendar. She ate the whole 24 days yesterday. She's got one for her boyfriend, right? She said, I haven't started his though. Anyway, anyway, it's the 12 days of Christmas. So today's the first day. Today's the first day, right? Every day for the next 12 days, you will get a gift just by buying something. Today, you get a free designer fat quarter. You don't need to fill in a code. You literally, you literally just have to buy something to be added to your order. I know, it's fantastic, isn't it? Now, the other thing is, if you buy for six days out of the 12 days, you will get, so shop any six days, so don't have to be consecutive days, in this 12 days of Christmas, you will get free PMP for the whole of January. Whole of January. Um, oh, Bernadette, so if, you, if you need to know what the thing is to finish the fabric off, Bernadette's put the code for the, for the jewellery maker on there. Right, shall we do some, right, so, so you know what we're doing, because we lost an hour at the beginning of the day. <coughs> it's still only half past nine in the studio, apparently. I oh, know that clock's broken. We are going to be doing the Japanese fabric followed by the clearance fabric. We might mix it, we might not. But anyway, let's go on. I've got two panels. Okay. Oh. <laughs> well, I think black is darker than blue in my books, you see. You didn't say dark blue, you said dark. Right, here we go. Now we've got a lovely slide to show you. Oh, not for this, not for this, not for this. <laughs> 19, 19, this is lovely, isn't it? I, I, I didn't mean that to sound surprised. I was like, oh, this is lovely, everything else is alone. No, this is lovely. I love the flowers they put in here, aren't they? These are, now what are they called? Is it called a noreen? Uh, it's where you make a door curtain, isn't it? Obviously yours will be cut better than this one. Now, this is just a panel. If you buy two, they do not come joined together. Even though they're only half a metre, they do not come joined together. That's a shame, really, isn't it? Do you know what? This would be nice. If you're making yourself a kimono, this could be the panel that goes down the back. Beautiful, isn't it? I wouldn't want to cut that up. I just want to keep that as it is and incorporate it into something. The fabric is lovely. It's a sumugu fabric. Oh, yeah, it is Noren. There it is. Noren Japanese floral. Yeah, not Noreen at all. Thank you. 1999. Hannah said it was a Noreen. Yeah. She's, she's upset because one of her neighbours has moved out, so that's one less friend for Christmas. She's very, very sad. Anyway, aren't they gorgeous? Love the gold spacing on them as well. Can we have a look at it properly, please, Emma? Just because you're leaving now. Button. Oh, no, I just said I wouldn't separate them. Hannah would separate them. Hannah's going to separate them, right, and then hand-stitch them to a denim jacket. Well, because you like the one Paul did. Little Paul's fine, everybody's operation was a success. <laughs> 1999. 
<coughs> if you follow him on Instagram, <coughs> he put a picture of his paper pants. That was nice, wasn't it? And then also, I was saying this this morning, when you have keyhole surgery, isn't the idea that you just have a little plaster like that afterwards? His leg is bandaged from top to bottom. Mind you, that's not very long for little Paul, is it? But there you go. That's gorgeous. What does this say, Hannah? Okay. Hannah's not done her research on that one. I feel puffed. It is beautiful, that one, though, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Next panel, the dark panel. 100% cotton. Oh, that's nice. Completely different story, though, isn't it? Com 9.99 this 9.99 beautiful big japanese flowers there you got the those things dragonflies butterflies they're very important in japanese culture i'll tell you about that later 9.99 it's the niwa wildlife on black the darker one it's lovely isn't it 9.99. It's lovely, isn't it? Love all the gold swirls going on. Are they like the waves then in the sea? Have we got a slide about that? No, no. I haven't done the waves. I don't know. <laughs> Moving on. Now I've got some bundles of fabric here with seven berry checks. Now, this might make your television screen go a little bit funny, just to warn you. These are brand spanking new today. Seven berries, very important because it's a Japanese uh, fabric making um, emporium. It doesn't hurt your eyes in real life, it just does on the telly, that's all. Now, I've got it as a bundle, but I've also got them individually. I'm going to cough, sorry, look at the fabric. I had a blooming stem ginger cookie in the break and I vowed that I wouldn't eat in the break so it makes me cough. It's a gluten-free, dairy-free, taste-free, everything-free cookie. And it makes you cough. N not cough-free. Oh, Christine thinks the panel would look stunning. Fabulous cut up and made into patchwork with plain squares using different sash coat designs. That's what Hannah said. I don't look in the wrong place. That's what Hannah said. Because it's me about these new screens. I'm doing Rebecca Reed. I keep doing this. Good morning, everybody. How are you? Right. Blue, black, red. and Well, it's not yellow. Ochre. Okay, let's move on then. Oh, oh, we're not doing them individually. Oh, okay. Is it this one then? Okay, so we've got hexes, we've got flowers, and we've got chrysanthemums. 2247, seven berry gold metallic black and red traditional Japanese fabric bundle, one and a half meters. So it's already cut. So you get half a meter of the lovely florals there. You get half a meter of. The, uh, now, hexes, have we got a slide about hexes? Lovely, aren't they? And then we've got this one here with ducks on it. Have we got one with ducks? Cranes. They're called cranes, aren't they, those? Do you know once more? No. Once you're... Well, I'll start again, can't even say it. Oh, <laughs> she really has as well. <laughs> okay, the reason I've been going on about... Uh, we have to, we've got this new directive where we have to show slides, right? I thought the slides were going to be about Japanese fabric. Here's the first slide. The crane in Japan, or tsuru, is a national treasure. A bit like Hannah. It is the symbol of longevity and good luck. Oh, very unlike Hannah. That's not like Hannah. Because it was thought to have a lifespan of a thousand years. Feels like it working here, doesn't it? Tsuru are also monogamous. <laughs> like Hannah. Therefore, often used for wedding decorations. <laughs> Can imagine going to a wedding with loads of Hannahs looking at you. An example of this is seen on a formal wedding that goes over the actual kimono, hang on, wedding kimono, and the, oh, I don't know how to say that, uchikaki, a, a decorative kimono that goes over the actual kimono where beautiful image of suru are often embroidered. Now, I'm sorry if I got any of the pronunciation wrong. I do apologise. 
Aren't they just beautiful? They're gorgeous. So you get half meter, half meter, half meter. And a little lesson in cranes. Oh, single figures already. Yes, single figures on that one already. Okay, so let's do the floral one first then, as it's the one that's open. So this is by the half meter. So if you buy the bundle, they're already cut, right? If you buy it now, we cut it off the bolt for you. So it's hard, you buy it by the half meter increment. So now, Hannah, have you got a slide about all these flowers? No, she said no. Oh, hang on, she put the wrong fab fabric. 64. Right. There you go, that's the right graphic there. 749 for half a metre. It's 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight. It's very pretty, isn't it? Is the screen stuck? I'm still seeing the Japanese panel. Princess, refresh your box. Um, oh, that's the only message I've got. Oh, Graham, if you're still watching, just message at Native Lighting. They'll be able to tell you the answers to all those. Next one is the hexes. Do you want a code? 54. I've only got 10 metres, this one left. 10 metres left. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. If the screen stuck, she won't have heard me say that, will she? <laughs> Hexagonal black fabric. Aren't they lovely? Now, would you fussy cut this? Would you do a uh, foundation, not foundation, EPP? Oh, Hannah would just stick it down and quilt around the hexes. Yep. Simple. Job done. Then we've got the cranes. Yeah, you went, oh, uh, I'm not showing the slide again. But it's the only one left. Yeah, for 04. Let's just double check in. They're lovely ducks, aren't they, those? I have the crane fabric, it's beautiful. Made a zip purse and lined it with the orange batik. Now, yesterday, I'm presuming that's Kate, but yesterday we had collector in Moses side. And I was like, oh, Kate, Kate, Kate. And then it was like, no, that's definitely not Kate. That was somebody else. So we've got an imposter. Okay, the cranes are about to sell out, but you can still get it in the bundle. Only just, though. Nine bundles left, that's all. So in the bundle, you get half metre, half metre, half metre. Yeah, let me move them out of the way. So you get half metre of that one, you get half a metre of that one, and you get half a metre of that one. I'm sure there's more cranes coming up later. Oh, no, there's not. Oh, yes, there are. Yes, there are there's loads. No, two. Righty-ho. So that's that bundle. Next bundle will be either the blue one or the pink one. Blue, please. <laughs> so on this one, we get the 1970s flower version. We get the, now this has got a special name, hasn't it? For Sashko print. Oh, it's, and then dragonflies. So let's go to the slide about 70s flowers. Oh, there isn't. Let's go to the slide about Sashko. There isn't one. Let's, let, no, so we'll move on then. Dragonfly. Oh, the writing's too small. What does a dragonfly symbolise in Japan? In Japan, they are revered and respected, being symbolic of happiness, strength, courage, and success. To the Japanese, the dragonfly, the tombo, is an important cultural symbol and was believed to be the spirit of the rice plant and a harbinger of rich harvest. Oh, that's nice. I've got loads in my garden. Well, not now, obviously. The Japanese samurai uh, honoured the dragonfly in many ways. In the 17th century, high-ranking Japanese lords and dragonfly-shaped hel oh, used dragonfly-shaped helmets so they could be easily identified on the battlefield. Yeah, but then the other people would know who the important people were. I wouldn't want to wear that. Oh, sorry. Uh, the dragonfly image was often emblazoned on the hilts of swords. Yeah, I'll do that. Breastplates, yeah, and arrow quivers. Because dragonflies were thought to be fearless, swift, and courageous, my three middle names, 
They were relieved to bring soldiers strength and protection. I've been known to do that as well. Yeah. That's all from the simple little dragonfly. I know. So this is a bundle, 2247. Uh, she's actually she's actually put where her bibliography is from. Bibliography, as she did the other day. Aren't they lovely, beautiful? 2247 for that bundle. Am I doing them individually? I am indeed. So let's do the 70s flowers. Yes. Gorgeous. Look at the colours in there. Oh, do you know, like the two people would love this one. Crazy Lorraine, because she loves a lot of purple. And Derek, because he wears a purple shirt to go out in the pool. Derek in Scotland, I'm talking about now. School teacher. £7.49 for half a metre. Remember, it's coming off the bolt for you, so you can have as much or as little as you want, as long as it's in half metre <coughs> increments. 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting wet cotton. Oh, there's only three metres left. Only three metres of that one left. Now, can, who can tell me the name of this pattern? Let's have a look who's in the graphics or not. Uh, WBU112. Oh, we've called it Sashko Flowers. Apparently this is brand new. Red in larger, this is a different scale. It'll be in Susan Briscoe's book. You've got it in your handbag, haven't you? £7.49, uh, Glyn's been very busy in the garden, hasn't he, if you follow her on Facebook. Right, and then the blue dragonfly made in Japan. Now, yesterday, yesterday, when, we, when, we did the, when I did the menu yesterday, it said Big in Japan, and I started singing this song, right, and everyone was like, what are you talking about? I said, there was a song, Big in Japan, Big in Japan. Anyway, Amanda Olay, she sent me the link to it on YouTube. It was very dramatic in the early 80s, wasn't it, Top of the Pops? Yeah. I've done, I've done, I did a samurai outfit, uh, yeah, when I was doing some costumes for the Royal College of Music, many, many years ago, we did some samurai costumes then. Oh, they're a nightmare. In fact, there's a picture of me at the party of the first night of the, it was an opera, they were opera costumes. I was very drunk wearing a cashmere jacket and I, I was having a fag like that. Was it the one where what? No, that was when I was at Mercury Theatre Colchester and that was a party. The little dragonflies were brand new as well. I've got more, I've got it in different colours coming up in a minute. Oh, of course, I, hang on, we've got to get a move on, haven't we? What's it? Yeah. Okay, so now this one is your pink and red bundle. Again, you've got different 70s flowers. You've got that one, and then you've got the little... Now, is that the same as one I had earlier, but in a smaller print? No, it isn't. Is it? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Is that the same as that? No, 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 it's different. It's different, it's different. They all work together beautifully, don't they? Okay, so you get half metre, half metre, half metre, £22.47. pence. Gorgeous. Moving on. Oh, lots of you checking out on that one. I'll wait for a minute then while you do that. And on my bottom, made a beautiful Japanese fabric and pattern. Hang on, made a beautiful Japanese fabric and pattern from Sewing Street. Wore it on, wore it to dinner. 20 ladies asked where to buy it. I said, I made it. Such lovely fabric from Anne in County Down. Hang on. She made a beautiful Japanese fabric and pattern dress, I think that must be, using fabric from Sewing Street. Beautiful. And 20 people... It's nice, though, isn't it? When people go, oh, where did you buy that from? You go, oh, I made it. I haven't I've been able to say that for a long time. Beautiful. Now, are they available by the half metre? If you go to the website, you'll see those on pre-order on by the half metre. Okay, lovely. 
Oh, Tamari Balls. Hang on. I have and read. Oh, that's it. Yeah, I've only got Tamari Balls. Oh. I've only got Tamari Balls in two colours, I'm afraid. They're all in a funny order, aren't they? Right. Look at these, look at these, look at these. Just got them in the black and the red. Now, what is a tamari ball, you're saying? Well, I'll tell you. Here you go, Japanese tamari balls. Oh, the writing's getting smaller on each of these, isn't it? Originally a child's plaything. The development of cotton thread production in Japan at this time resulted... We, at which time? Uh, at this time, resulted in the... There's a bit missing off there. Hang on. Hang on. The development of cotton thread production in Japan at this time resulted in the we... The some... Yeah, no, there's a word missing then in what we recognise today. Also named Itumari, thread balls. These soft balls wrapped in intricate geometric designs of cotton and silk threads lifted the position of the tamari from a mere toy to a work of art. Traditionally, tamari balls were gifted to children on New Year's Day. Oh, I won't be in here, so you don't need someone. To wish for children's happiness. In modern Japan, tamari are a symbol of the, both the New Year and young femininity and are a common motif on both children's and young women's kimonos. It's also customary to give a tamari patterned kimono to a bride as a good luck charm in the hope that she will be able to build a happy family. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that there wasn't Hannah missing out a word. It was from their website. Which one are we doing first? Red one first. I've always liked this fabric. I think this is beautiful. Oh, no, they're ex exquisite. They're light. They're light. Some of them are so intricate in real life. You look. 7 49 for half a metre. Remember, you're buying it off the bolt. You can have as much as little as you want. 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight. Beautiful. There they are. Oh, you see, I can see why that would make a child joyful. All those colours are beautiful, aren't they? £7.49 pence for half a metre. Well, no, it suddenly looks like the Christmas tree's falling towards me. Look, it's leaning in towards me, isn't it? Here's one. Oh, hang on. Here's one. That, yeah, they're all made out of thread. That's what those were just said, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, someone's got a bad cough next door. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Black one. This is nice. You see, this is like a black opal, isn't it? When the black at the background, like, makes all the colours really pop, doesn't it? Lovely, beautiful, gorgeous colours. Message on my bottom from Joanne. Hi John, could I make a blouse out of the Japanese fabric or is it too thick? Think, no, it's not too thick at all. It, and when it's been washed, it'll be really lovely and drapey. It's slightly finer than a quilting weight. It's like a poplin weight, this. So yeah, it'd be perfect. Oh, which one are you going to make a blouse out of? I'd, I'd go to my... Oh, hang on, let me just... Oh, no, no, they're all the same. They're all the same. So, yeah, I wouldn't worry. Wouldn't worry. Right, where, where are we going next, then? Um, I'm going to tell you that those four are available on the website, just so you know. I've got which one, sorry? Yeah. Just only... Oh! Who unpacked this hour? Hang on. It might have been me, actually. Pale pink or rusty pink? Pale pink, right. I've not seen this one before. Beautiful. Not, no, I mean, I haven't seen the, the flowers done in this colour before. Sashko flowers on blush, we've called it. Seven forty nine for half a meter. I'll let Emma pack this one away. 
She said she'll be busy doing the lamps. Yeah, like the last time you just went home. 7.49 for half a metre. <coughs> you said, don't worry about the lamps. I'll sort them. I'll sort them. Bye then. And then she wasn't in for a week. 7.49. She's not very good at counting, is Emma? Which is the next one? Oh, okay. Okay. Hang on. It's a new shirt. I'm just trying to do the button. That's a can't. Never mind. The witch flowers. What colour? Right, 27, yeah. Okay, th on the picture on the website, these look bigger. They're the same size. <coughs> uh, excuse me. 6.99, this one. 6.99. And there you go, there's the name. No more. No more. No more. No more. <coughs> Japanese Geo Red Fabric, six ninety nine for half a meter. Beautiful. I won't be doing those. Well done. Where am I going next then? Dragonflies. Let's go to the lucky dragonflies. Oh yes, there are. Right, let's start with little dragonflies all over. Normally, Hannah goes, splash it on all over at that point, but she didn't do it today. Which colour would you like to go with first? Black first. There you go. So this one, by the half metre. Mm, brand new today. £7.49 on charcoal, actually it is. Not black, charcoal. Charcoal. Do you see my new, uh, do you see my new fire pit, Hannah? It's nice, isn't it? It's lovely. I was going to light again last night. I thought, that's a bit excessive, John. You're about to go to bed. <laughs> Seven foot ten, it's beautiful. It's 100% cotton, machine washable, quilting weight, 44 inches wide. Just the three colours in that. That Charcoal. Blue. We've already, s oh, have we seen, but we've only seen it in a bundle, haven't we? Played it, so I'll leave the blue. Then I've got the, um, there's the blue, red. Now, they call it red. It's more of a brick, like a brick terracotta colour, this one, look. It's not red, red. Red, red. Is it nearly lunchtime? I'm starving. Oh, I've got yarn lanes as well, haven't I? It's fine. It's absolutely fine, but I'm a bit hungry today. I'll tell you what, we could have a new presenter today. We've got a new boy. He's either called Paul or Martin, nobody knows, but he could, he could be present the last hour. That'd be a nice introduction. Yeah. Lots of books to talk about. With. He knows all about crocheting and knitting. Okay. Then this one. Now, what colour have they called, it, called this? Gold? Mustard. Mustard. It's nice, isn't it, though? All over. Gorgeous, isn't it? I know I'm going fast, but we lost an hour at the beginning of the, the show, didn't we? So I need to get through it all. Okay, then I've got it in. No, I haven't. Now I've got sparse in black, blue and red. Oh, we're not doing that then. Red cranes. Oh, we have to do that one. That's lovely. Red cranes. In fact, all of them, just all of them. Oh, I found another sparse one there. Right, hang on a sec. I've only got cranes on black. Oh, cranes on red. What was the other one you wanted to do? Yeah. She can see Quiche Lorraine somewhere. Right, hang on a sec. I think I've got all of the ones she wants now. Right. What, which one do you want first? 
Cranes on black, yeah? Emma, do you want a slap? Metaphorical, obviously. Traditional Japanese cranes, floral black fabric, seven forty nine. About to sell out. It's because of that lovely, that lovely slide about cranes, wasn't it? Now the red one. That one's about to sell out, everyone. Red one. Now the red one's very traditional because red means um, like doesn't it mean money and everything and wealth and everything? Have I got that right? We got a slide about that. Japanese cranes floral on red, very, very popular. Come on, Emma, one job. I think Facebook Live's died on me. No, I don't know. Seven pounds and 49 pence. Going to clearance in a little while, remember. Not on Japanese, not on Japanese. But I've got unicorns, yep. And I've got, you know, the early bird that sold incredibly well. I've got that in different colours. Uh, lawn. Next one. The red one with fans on, yeah? Red one with fans. Oh, this is pretty. This is the only one I've got with the fans. 31. Rue 31. Do you see my pictures? I met Rue this week. He's adorable. Hmm? Yeah. That was, what day is it? Yeah, it was last Friday I went. No, Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. S it's a week ago, yeah. 7.49. June, waving to let you know Facebook is still working. Oh, I've got it wrong. Red is lucky in China. Sorry. Just go with red's lucky all over the world. If we don't add a slide about it, I'd have known, wouldn't I? Right, and have you done a slide for purple then? Is it? Purple. Japanese floral. Can I do this one? No, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Yeah. 7.49. Lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous. <laughs> okay, shall we move on? Am I doing anything else on this table? No. Come with me to the clearance department, to the glitter table. I think I got rid of it all, actually, in the, in the break. Right, okay, so where would you like to go first, then? Oh, yeah, you did tell me that. Sorry, my bad. Right, so we had these as an early bird, but not in these colourways. We had it in red this morning. I've also got, oh, it's a different colour over here. How weird. Right, oh, no, we didn't get rid of all the glitter. Um, how weird is that? On that screen, I'm all light and bright. On this screen, I'm in black and white almost. Yeah, uh, no, that camera, the camera. It's the camera's gone black and white. Anyway, let's switch colour. Would you like to do first, the black or the white? The pink one, here you go. Let's have a look what it goes from upstairs. It might only be that with camera there. <gasps> look how wide this is, first of all. This was hugely popular at 8 o'clock this morning in the red. Alice and Marion's bought it ready for next Christmas. Not this Christmas, coming up the Christmas after. 4 99 this is. <gasps> oh, we crashed it. Didn't know we were allowed to. Oh, did you see that? It just went like that then. Ooh. Right, we're going to crash. Two ninety nine, two ninety nine for half a meter. Seventy five percent cotton, twenty five percent polyester, and it's gone down from four ninety nine to two ninety nine. No reason. I didn't even see the crash happen. This has never ever been on air before, and it's two ninety nine for half a meter. Um, okay. Oh, I've got no graphics. No, no, on my screen here, I've got no graphics. Yeah, my screen's broken. because it's gone black and white, I've got no graphics. Anyway, 2.99, 2 .99. Um, Have a look at it. No, no, it's fine. No, no, it's fine. As long as I know, I'll look down there. But there's no graphics and it's on black and white. Shall we look at this? 
Oh, oh, my whole camera there's broken. That camera normally tells me what's on. They're seeing at home, right? Keep going, keep going, keep going through. So go to the fabric. Oh, you are on the fabric. Oh, now we need Elliot in. Look, look, Hannah, because I've got me there. Look, don't. Look, so there's so there's no graphics here, and there's just me here, and we're, we're on the fabric. So get, get somebody. Yeah, uh, is Elliot not in? Oh, no, it's his day off, isn't it? Oh, hemp leaf, Bernadette. You're right. It was called hemp leaf design. That Sashko. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Thank you. Back on the material now. This is really eerie because I know you're on the teal, but I can see myself, so I'm feeling a bit self-conscious. Two ninety nine, cotton rich pop art, Panama canvas, festive stars, pink fabric. Haley won't know. Oh, do you hear that noise? Sorry about that. Haley, well, Haley's worked in cameras for ages. You're not coming on screen. Don't worry. Okay, so normally when we cut to this shot here which is that shot there, this one here yeah. changes to what the people at home are seeing. And at the moment, they're seeing me, but with no graphics. And they see that all the time. Do you know what I mean? So the people at home are seeing this yeah. with graphics, right? So normally, this screen here yeah. shows me what the people at home are seeing with the graphics. And it's got, I've got nothing. So it's just you. It's, it's only me. It doesn't affect the audience. But it means that I don't know when I'm in shot or when I'm not in shot, that's all. So what? The wrong yes, yes, yes. But don't worry, don't worry for now. We don't need to do it live, but it was just, it, I'll do everything from that table later on. Okay. Just so you know. Because I haven't been on this side all day, you see. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Is that how much you took the early bird to then, hey, uh, Hannah? Is that how much you took the early bird to? This is lovely, bright blue. It's on me at the moment. On the fabric. There you go, it's on the fabric now. Right, keep looking at the fabric, it's gorgeous. That blue is more of a marine um, turquoise blue, it's lovely. In fact, it's the kind of blue I want to paint my bathroom. I might take that as a fabric swatch. Beautiful, two ninety nine for half a metre. It's seventy five percent cotton, twenty five percent um, polyester. Two ninety nine. Lovely, isn't it? Right, I'm going to hold it up now, so I'll be coming into shot now. Now. Beautiful, beautiful. Elliot's in tomorrow morning, anyway, isn't he? Can fix it in the morning, can't he? He's what? What's she saying? She said, you've got an hour and a half left. I'm going to do it all from that table over there. <laughs> Poor Elliot. His work piles while he's not there. I feel, don't feel sorry for him, Sue. He gets paid a fortune. He gets paid an absolute fortune. And he loves it. He loves it. If he didn't, he'd leave. Uh, which one are you looking at now? Uh, 2 99 on the fabric. That's fine. Okay, keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. Oh, okay, we're not going to unicorns then. Which flowers? Oh, yes, this one under here. Yes, 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 yes. This is lovely. This reminds me of an embroidery kit that um, Catherine Wright did. Do you remember we did the hoop with all these on? Okay, look at this, right? Look at this, right? It's lovely. It's wide, extra wide. Lavender. What's Vinca Minor? Don't know what that is. Two, two, I see, I can't see, even see graphics on it. At 2.49, £2.49. It's lovely, isn't it? Shall I hold it up for you, first of all? Look, let me hold it up like that. There you go, look. So that's how wide it is. Now, I, I don't know if I've got enough to show you. Rip oh, it's upside down, that's right. Ribbons on a notice board. I don't know what she's talking about either. When you make a padded notice board. Yeah, but if you made ribbons out of it, you wouldn't see anything. Glimpses. 
Valeriana. 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 Don't know why. I, I, I know. Well, actually, actually, this one here says it's lavender. Oh, it's upside down now. They're all, they're all different ways up, aren't they? But look, that one says lavender, but it's yellow. Can you? But the bees won't like that. Which one are we on? Oh, that one there. The bees won't like that, will they? And then what's that one? Mirilitis. That sounds like something that <laughs> Anna would come back with after one of her holidays, doesn't it? Well, oh, it's about to sell out just as well before I get into too deep water. Well, you know, she came back from one holiday and she rang the doctors, 111, and went, oh, I've just come back from, was it Burmy just come back from, Myanmar or something like that? I feel a little bit poorly. I've got a bit of a chin left thing. And it was before we really knew about COVID, right? Ten minutes later, and Anna lives in a little cul-de-sac. Is it a cul-de-sac? Dead end. Right? The ambulance came zooming up. The ambulance doors opened. Everybody came out in white breathing mask, white thing. Put her in the back of the ambulance. Said, don't worry, you're fine. Didn't tell her where she went. She has no idea where she went. They dropped her back off home the next day. And then she rang a couple of days going, um, I'm just ringing to find out what happened. They went, we don't know what you're talking about. We don't know. No, you never got taken in that ambulance. She said, I did, I did. She's got a blanket because they forgot to take one of the blankets off her. Well, they didn't want it back. They didn't want it back. But Yeah, they burnt a fumigate. But and then a few weeks later, we heard about COVID. Right, so what am I doing next? And unicorns? Right, if they're all the unicorns are unnatural on the fabric, but I've got it in black, pink and grey. Oh, Sue says, I've got that herb fabric in the kitchen of my holiday home. Oh, a holiday home. Which colour am I doing first? Sorry, pink one. Well, it's because I've got no graphics, can't see Sue. So. Oh, wait, wait, when, wait, when do we suddenly start crashing prices? Right. Yeah, but this is brand new. How can we be, oh, it's not, you're not on me. How can we be on clearance? 2 99 Vinca is periwinkle, usually blue. Oh, put it away now. Oh, yeah, and that's yellow. They've got all their colours wrong, haven't they? Got all their colours wrong. I love this. Yeah. Pink unicorns. What more could you want in life? Are we on me or the fabric? <laughs> it doesn't help to go on the screen down there. I'm on me, you see. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm having to behave, you see. Because normally when you're on the fabric, I can have a scratch or whatever, you know. Now I've got unicorns, black or grey? Black. Oh, I can't wait to get back to my table. <laughs> on the fabric, crashing. Oh, I tell you what, the, the uh, Facebook's way behind them on the pink on the Facebook still. We've got technical issues today, haven't we? Beautiful. 2 99 for half a metre. It's lovely and wide. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? What would you make out of it, though? Kit bag for PE. Swimming bag, says Emma. Well, I'm just trying to think, because Emma's... What would you have at the seaside, Emma? Because you're moving to the seaside, isn't she? Not a swimming, you can't make a swimming costume out of it. Goggles, hey, we're getting a bit ridiculous now, aren't we? Let's do unicorns in grey now. Are they called it grey? On the fabric? Great, 5.99 is where we should be. I can see that, thank you. <laughs> They're very naughty to me. Two ninety nine. When they both leave, it'll be fine. Two ninety nine on the fabric. Karen says, "Morning, John, from a lovely sunny Camden Town." Oh, I love Camden Town, Karen. Right, where are we going next then? On me. Bundles. Autumn. 
Okay, we've not named these. We've not named these. This one's, this one's called Autumn, apparently. Okay. <laughs> You're me or the fabric? I'm the fabric, okay. So that one's called Autumn. Oh, I can understand why that one's called Autumn. So I've got brunette. I don't know the colours. Brown, dark red, slightly darker red, lighter red, pink and pink. Oh, we're crashing. Okay, so you get three metres of fabric. Should be 35 94 This is not Rose and Hubble fabric. These are wide. I'll show you in a minute. I'll show you in a minute. But how much are we crashing to? Oh, half price. Is that half price we've gone to? Yeah, yeah, almost half price. Almost half price. Now, look at the width of this fabric. It's 100% cotton, isn't it? Yeah, machine washable, quilting weight. I'll just pop it down on the table. Oh, you can't see the width then. There you go. It's more, I'd say it was like, if they called it quilting weight, I think it's more poplin. I think it's more of a poplin than a quilting weight myself. But lovely, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Beautiful. So three metres. Then what, sorry? Crafting. Great for crafting these, yeah. What have they called it? Autumn Swan, they've called it, have they? Oh, it's Swan Fabric. It's made by Swan. Not that you don't get Swans. Oh, but do you know, this is really sad. And this is really, really sad news. When we, in Stratford One Avenue, as you drive round, there's all these signs saying avian flu, avian flu, avian flu. Apparently there's only swan, one swan left on the river. They've all been got by the avian flu. There's one swan. Now, in the village next to me, there are swans on the river down there because I'm not in the centre of Stratford. And there's a whole family. There's a swan and swanlings. No, cygnets. Cygnets, right? Uh, they're there. They're safe, right? But the ones in Stratford, apparently there's only one left. How sad is that? What's the matter? Oh, I've upset Emma now because she, yeah. Right. Do you know the only person who's allowed to eat a swan is the Queen? Do you know that? Yeah? Because they all belong to her. They all belong to her. Sunshine. <laughs> okay, this beige one apparently is sunshine. Okay, so you get this one. Now, are these half meters or meters? Okay, half meters. So you get the, they feel that thick and that. So you get cream. Oh, that one. Then you've got like that one. Then you've got a yellow one. Then you've got Dorridge. Yeah, that's a kind of dirty yellow, isn't it? And then they're lovely colours. I just don't understand why that would be called. Oh, I can sort of see it now they're open. Sunshine on a rainy day. Crash in! Oh no, no, why are you getting a PCR test? Have you been in, in contact with somebody? Oh, crikey, and Claire's free view is even further behind Facebook. 17.99, three metres of fabric. This is not our regular Rose and Hubble fabric. This is one from Swan. What's the matter? My poor chickens all have to stay under cover now, probably till March. Oh, Elaine, um, Sam Sabido has that, doesn't she? With hers, she has to keep hers locked away. Oh, And you mustn't, if you see a, a poorly pigeon, you mustn't pick it up. Only, no, no, if you haven't got the signs, you'll be all right. It's only if you've got the avian flu in your area. If you've not got signs, you haven't got it. Did you not get a letter? You see, you have to, you, I got a letter from the, a, uh, what are they called? The health and something. So I got it. Yeah, they're saying if you've got chickens, you have to do this. Don't touch a pigeon, all that sort of stuff. I know it's very serious. <laughs> Emma was very upset because she didn't get that letter. She lives in a flat. She's got a chicken run out on the balcony. No, she hasn't. Right, where am I going next? Oh, green. Is that what it's called? This one with grey in it, you mean? This one's called green. Love, I love them as bundles. I just don't know who's named them, that's all. That's lovely, isn't it? That one there. 17 99 You get six half metres of fabric. 
gorgeous. Keep going through. That's a lovely bundle. I know they called it greens. You've got four greens and two greys. Oh, we've got a slide for these. Oh, no, no. Beautiful. Moving on. I've got two more bundles like this to show you. Which colour? Pinks now. Well, the one black, you mean? Yeah, here we go. Majestic, this one's called. So you've got black, you've got imperial, <coughs> excuse me, you've got plum, you've got lavender, you've got lilac, and you've got pink. Oh, that's a lovely bundle, that one. Morning, John and team. Great show today, says Georgina. Well, I'm glad you think so, Georgina. It's going all wrong this end. Anyway, look at the fabric. Run the fabric. I'm between Emma and Elliot, I think it's the two of them, really. Elliot's on a day off, so he can't get all the blame. We saw Elliot in a bad mood this morning. Ooh. Beautiful. That one there is your Imperials. Majestics, Majestics, Majestics. Isn't that a wine shop that they set up in all the old empty petrol stations? And Patsy from Ab Fab used to live above one of them, didn't she? In the story, not in real life. Blue is very limited. Well, I can imagine you'd use lots of that one. Look at that. 35. Oh, no, not 35. No, not 35, 94. Did you crash the purple one? Oh, because it hasn't... No, you didn't crash the purple one. The purple one will be 70. I've just looked on my iPad and we're still on the purple one. It still says 35, 94 and I'm packing it away. Crash. It's crashed. We've crashed. 17.99. Oh, should we go for a break? It's what time is it? Oh, God, 10 minutes. <laughs> the purple one will go to 17.99 as well. Beautiful. Single figures on that one now. Single figures. Have I? Japanese garden abstract floral, apparently, on the fabric. Lilac. It's a pretty fabric. Right, it's going to be crashed. The price will be crashed. Not five ninety nine. How about half price? Half price. Half price. On me. Two ninety nine. I've got no. I've got nothing to point at. You see, I'm just pointing that lady's boob. Two ninety nine. <laughs> That was the same show, Emma. It just feels like a few weeks ago. Two ninety nine. Oh, it's me. No, no, it's fabric on the fabric. It's gorgeous. That's a, such a lovely colour. That one. My Japanese garden. It's called my Japanese garden. And I've also got it in. Now, what colour do they call this? I think it's clotted cream. It's called cream. It's called cream. Oh, cream tea be lovely. Well, when we go to when we go to visit Emma when she's living in Devon, she'll be able to make us a cream tea. Now, does it go? No, I'll meet you on the main road. Um, does it go jam then cream or cream then jam? Oh, you do cream then jam. Oh, I always do jam then cream. Right, two ninety nine. That's exactly what I said. If the cream's already on it, how do you get the jam on it afterwards? Beautiful, two ninety nine half a meter. Hundred percent cotton. You use the jam like butter, so it's like the butter, and then you put the cream on the top. Oh, you know, you probably use butter as well. Oh yeah. Right, next, 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 next. Is it on me? It's on me. She's too busy chatting about cream teas. You know, on my own. What?
Okay, reindeers. On dark green and grey, we're going to be doing which one first? Well, is it grey? I think it's like a soft green myself. Let me find a grey and I'll tell you. Right, that's grey. You see what I mean? It looks like a soft gray, uh, green, doesn't it? I've got it upside down anyway, look. Here you go. New 169, 299 for half a metre. It is the clearance. I've only got a few more minutes left of this. Oh, then we have to go because it's Yarn Lane, doesn't we? I keep forgetting. Book Bonanza today. Beautiful. 299. And then I've also got in like a dark fur green. Bottle green. Bottle green more than fur. Oh. Two ninety nine reindeers on green, we've called it. Two ninety nine. I'm recording a radio show this afternoon. I'm the special guest, Joe. It's an hour long. Who wants to listen to me waffling on for an hour? <laughs> Anna says she'll spend it with five hours a day. That's nice, isn't it? We on me then or not? Yeah, yeah. She's forgetting to tell me. I'm not telling you now if you're going to say that. It's on. No, no, no. Let's move on. Hearts. I've got green hearts on white. and I'm Oh, they're different hearts. They're not, they're, not, they're not the other way round to each other, look. They're different hearts. Dark green background first. There you go. This is called Little Christmas Eve, this one's called. Ah, oh, we'll be here. I'll be here. Christmas Eve. And Christmas Day. I'm 23, 24, 25 this year. No, I'm 39, really. Oh, you're on the fabric, not me. On where? I haven't got a turkey. <laughs> Moving on. Hannah, are you on me? Hannah thinks that looks like a turkey up there. Uh, don't go to Hannah's for your Christmas dinner, whatever happens. Oh! This was knitted by Maggie Priestley, right? They, Maggie, they think this looks like me. In your own time, moment's gone now. Are we on? Oh, yeah, that doesn't change at all, does it? Hang on, hang on. Moving on. <laughs> Have you who did that? Oh, the tall man smashed a bauble this morning. Oh, good, 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 good. Where next? Oh, yeah. we have. <laughs> what were you doing then? <laughs> Yummy? No, on the fabric. Please tell what show. June, I'll let you know. It's on on Saturday, I think, and I think it's on something called Travel.com. But I'll have to let you know. I'll have to let you know. My radio show. I'm guesting. I'm not presenting it. I'm guessing. I don't know. They haven't told me. Yesterday, no, last week. I listened to it last week. When they asked me to do it, they said it's on now. Go and listen to it now. They were interviewing the star of Mamma Mia. Not Meryl Streep. Not Meryl Streep. Green hearts on white. 2 dollars for me. 200% cotton. He just needs some glasses, says Helen. Oh, Helen, you've been blocked. Right, OK, let's have a look at tomorrow's menu then. Because we've got to go to Yarn Lane, haven't we? Can't be late. Oh, we're on the menu already, right. Uh, 8 o'clock, sewing room tools. It's me tomorrow. Sewing room tools at 8 o'clock. Then Sally Stevens in at 9 o'clock doing the mode of cranberries and cream. That's our very own design. You've seen it on Facebook. 
Then at 10 o'clock, I'm showing you the mode of cranberries and cream fabric that Sally Ann, uh, Sally Ann, Sally Stevens has used in the hour before, right? Then I've got a Lewis and Irene small things quilt with Sally Stevens. That's a design by Sally Ablett. Uh, and that's got some new fabric in it as well, Lewis and Irene fabric in it. And then, oh, I've got clearance again at 12 o'clock. Oh, it's, oh, 12 days of Christmas clearance, isn't it? Of course it is. Right, what time is it? Okay, uh, I'm going over to Yarn Lane now. I've not got a guest on today. I've got Book Bonanza. Uh, I'll either see you on South Street at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning or I'll see you on Yarn Lane in four minutes from now. <laughs>